introduction now next one team what is what is dependency injection what is dependency injection team how many types of dependency injections types of dependency injections next one team how to configure how to configure dependency injection how to configure dependency injection in spring a using xml market no one will use this xml b java config still people are using auto wired annotations approach annotation approach we are going into c team okay examples on okay examples on around 25 okay examples we are going to see okay examples on only xml okay, examples on only okay, xml okay, examples on only java config okay examples on only using pure annotations and examples on the combination of xml plus java config combination of xml plus java config plus annotations around 25 of okay, examples we are going into c team 25 at the end of the course now okay fifth one fifth one very very important concept in is called scope steam in spring core how many scopes are there two scopes are there when to use singleton and to use prototype team okay now sixth one team okay sixth one team very very important how to load the properties file hey please go on mute how to load the properties file team how to load the properties file using spring core seventh one team profiles is very very important in our real time we have different profiles are there dev profiles okay environments test or uad or production how to load this properties file using the profile concept team now eighth one okay okay eighth one we are going to see we are going to see how to apply spring core in web applications ninth one spring aware interfaces team spring bean aware interfaces and last one last one spring bean life cycle team these are the topics we are going to discuss these two days at the end of the course so you will get okay, at the end of the course you will get once course will look successful you will get class notes plus 25 okay, examples what are the examples we are going to be discuss here this 25 okay, examples we are going to provide to you team so that 
you would be okay, practice all these things while doing practicing if any questions also you can send email to srinu.srinutech at the rate gmail.com so that not immediate response you can expect maybe one day delay because i am working classes plus working where i may are you know oh yeah. you cannot expect a real-time response you will be expecting some 24 hours okay within 24 hours you will be expecting a response team okay at the end if you are interested if you are good we are going into the discuss faqs also team. top some 20 faqs of spring core we are going to discuss recording will not share team recording will not share i have clearly here mentioned right you will get class notes plus 25 of examples if any technical you can send here understood team okay now let's start team so what is spring team first what is spring see now why spring framework has introduced into the market team what is spring okay introduction we are going into c team what is spring what is spring and why introduced into the market so okay i don't want to give bookies answers to team just for you know two days right gunshot answers like you know gunshot answers i should give see team if i ask what is spring means i would say spring is an framework but why introduced this spring into the market the main goal of the spring framework is the main goal of spring framework is spring framework is to make j2ee application development was easier to make j2ee application development was easier to okay to make j2ee application of development was easier we should go for this spring framework team that means hey what are the drawbacks of this of okay, j2ee okay, applications look okay, at drawbacks the drawbacks of this j2ee applications i don't want to talk each and every drawback i will give only a okay, title team j2ee applications are tightly coupling applications team okay tightly coupling applications j2ee applications are tightly coupled applications means if you want to write first two what is mean by j2ee team j2ee means i would say servlet jsp ejb rmi ejb all all will be comes under j2ee so all j2e applications are tightly coupling applications tightly coupling applications means if you want to write any one simple hello world servlet you should be extends your http servlet or actual servlet interface implements it means it's a tightly coupling tomorrow if you want to migrate from your servlet to your any other framework any other technologies you cannot do you have to write so much of code you have to write team tightly coupling means now here your class should be okay extends with other class team means our applications okay our applications should extends servlet or ejb if you are using ejb ejb and so on Whenever you are okay, extending your servlets or EJB, you have to override your init methods, service methods, EJB predefined methods. 
so that tomorrow if you want to migrate from your ejb to any other framework you can't do it team next to, okay drawback is okay it's a heavy weight all j2 york applications are a heavy weight team what is the concept of this okay heavy weight means no see if you want to start your j2 applications if any working guy is then they will be able to know in 2010 something minimum 15 minutes it would happen to it will be so many classes so many you know so many framework related classes so many your app server classes it will take so much of time application startup will take more extra processing time team application process of application startup startup will take will take more extra will take more extra processing time team now next to drawback boilerplate code very very important what is boilerplate code team so common code is getting repeated in multiple places to do some activity is called a boilerplate code for example jdbc connection so it is a common code which is required for okay everywhere common code is getting repeated repeated in multiple places team to do some activity is called a boilerplate code fourth one cross cutting concerns that means if you want to implement any security transactions you know so in all the layers of your applications your j2e does not support it it does not support j2e does not support security transactions you know uh, all connection pooling if you want all these things you need to implement a manual team does not su support inbuilt need to implement manually see to overcome all these problems to overcome all these problems now here to overcome all these problems spring guys you know one of the guy from j2e team that guy name is rod johnson this guy team rod johnson this guy is also is a part of the j2e project this guy is also part of this j2e project team what this guy did you know with all the drawbacks of this j2e application he was like okay, disappointed okay he was like okay, disappointed he came out from you know sun microsystems he you know he he was build a one company and a team is called like interface 21 is called like interface 21 because of all these drawbacks because of all these drawbacks all these drawbacks of j2e applications of j2e applications there is a person called rod johnson person is called rod johnson okay the guy has okay the guy has okay started a framework is called starting of okay, interface 21 team he is from sun microsystem actually he is from okay, sun microsystem he came out from okay, sun microsystems and he introduced a one framework is called okay introduced a one framework is called spring team okay introduced a one framework is called spring team now let's see 
got a team any questions you can ask so i would say spring has okay overcome all these problems team now here see so he is from person is called rod johnson okay now he is from he is from sun microsystem he is from sun microsystem and he was he was okay disappointed he was okay, disappointed okay, disappointed with with j2e futures with j2e futures okay and started started something was called interface 21 interface 21 interface 21 renamed was was renamed was renamed as spring spring team okay now what are the advantages of this spring spring advantages there are so many advantages are there in spring what are the drawbacks of all your j2e applications <clears throat> no spring spring can uh, you know overcome all this one first one is spring application make application development as easier make application development development easier team how the easier and all means now we'll see spring provides a futures which all the all the enterprise applications which helps okay, involved in okay, development team and also spring applications are lightweight what is lightweight the startup time it will take very less team okay it won't take any too much time here spring has modularity team what is modularity <clears throat> now here spring has provided around 20 modules team spring has provided around 20 modules these days now spring core spring mvc spring batch spring transactions spring security so many team and also one of them is called spring boot spring web okay web mvc spring dao spring aop okay so many and so on spring has introduced around 20 modules team now see to develop only standalone applications use core to develop app applications use mvc to develop batch applications use this batch to develop a security use the security so that's why you know spring is another advantage is it is Pozo based development team. Why Pozo based development? Spring does not force to your application implement or extending any Spring framework classes. Spring does not force your applications. Spring does not force. Spring does not force your application does not force your application to extend or implement to extend or implement any spring framework classes any spring framework classes team see how much of advantage is there with the spring tomorrow if you want to migrate from spring to any other framework happily you can go ahead team Happily, you can go ahead to team. Spring is more popular because, because all Spring applications are loosely in coupled applications, loosely in coupled application and unit test code. And unit test code. Okay. These are the advantages in Spring. But the question is. See, any framework team I have seen in my experience from 2008 to 2 till now, 2008 to 2 till now, I was working on 
trusts i was working on wicket i was working on jsf now i have been working on spring but why spring spring is you know sustain sustaining in market means it's good thing is team please any framework is available in the market spring what the spring team is there spring is ready to provided you know one module for that if you want work with okay ready cash what the spring will do hey you don't need to write too much of boilerplate code spring will give you one with the latest version they will give some utility classes okay spring ready is it will be supported if you want to work with in the market mongodb you don't need to worry mongodb okay yes spring spring has provided a predefined uh, okay api is called mongo template or something no why i am telling anything in the market there is a kafka no problem spring has provided a yeah, one predefined classes is called kafka if any technology is available in the market which is the famous spring on spring has provided you know apis to communicate with that you know uh, okay technologies that's why everyone is you know preferred for spring means spring is crazy kafka don't write uh, you know kafka code if you write in kafka code you will write 100 lines code i will provide i mean i i i mean spring will provide kafka template so kafka template will write internally all this code how to connect to this kafka and all developer no need to write too much of code jms everything team security everything that's why spring is more popular in the market team understood team now our concept is one of the famous module in spring core spring core is the module without this spring core no projects team without this spring core no projects are there in the spring so even though you have so many modules are there even though you have so many modules are there but underlying module is spring core team spring core is the base module of entire your spring framework spring core is the base module of entire your spring framework so if you know the spring core you can play the games like with aop dao orm any new module also will be coming to you that's why it is a base how they were building base right if base is not strong what happened building will be collapse similarly in this entire this spring whole this spring project whole this spring framework spring core is the base team if you know the spring core now you can understand other modules will be easy team that's why see how this it is this okay image has given by the spring team okay so that's why we are going to learn in spring core now team okay spring core is very very okay, important now here what this spring core will do okay what this okay spring core will do is our next question team what this okay spring core will do before start our spring core before start the spring core first one is first one is we need to start why we should go for this spring core i why we we should go for spring core i would tell look at definitions easily but the next one in our in our project development team in our project development 
will write one one statement spring core is the base module for all all of the other module for all of the other module team other module okay now so why i should learn this spring core spring core in our project development in our project development here only you you need some core java skills in our project development so how your project development is there now we'll see let us assume that i am going to write one class public class account account what information is there account every class will have a state every class will have a behavior every class will have a state every class will have a behavior i would say this state is called instance variable this behavior is called methods or functions state is called instance variable behavior is called methods and functions so what is this you know in our in our real time project wherever you are developing your project one thing is mandatory means a class you are developing a class you are developing a class that class should follow the srp you have a concept is called solid principles that will discuss later later means not this two days in solid principle s means srp okay s means okay srp srp stands for single okay, responsibility principles srp stands for single okay, responsibility principles that means whenever you are writing any project code that class should have only one responsible to modify to touch a class should not have two things a class should not have users information a class should not have customer details this is wrong you are developing any project Th that project should have only one responsibility a class means either you should give either you should give only user details or you should give customer details either you should give only user details or you should give customer details you should not combine both into single it is the one of the mandatory solid principles i never you start this solid principles okay srp stands single okay, responsibilities means means every every class every class sh should have one responsibility every class should have one responsibility it is a, a very very important in our okay, interviews okay interviews are asking can you explain about solid principles what is o what is lid we'll discuss in upcoming class later but as of now every class should have only one responsibility it is called a okay, single responsibilities don't don't include your users details and okay, account details a class should have either user details or you should have account details okay now during you because of this solid principles during your project development during your project development we would have multiple classes every project every project every project would have multiple 
multiple classes. Okay, every project would have multiple classes. If multiple classes, okay, every class, okay, if we follow, if you follow SRP, okay, SRP means single responsibility principle, single responsibility principle. Now, okay, next one. For every class, you should create object. Developer has the responsibility to create the object. Every class developer should create the object. Every class developer should create the object. An application is running. An application is running. These objects should interact with another object. When application is running, these objects should be interact with another object. Another object to team. Okay, when, when your application is running, these objects should be interact with another object to team. Small example. Small example. Now here see. Simple example. Our a class A. Class A. Here I have a class B. I have a class B. Now here see. Class A and class B. Class A is now here depending on class B. I need um, some okay, amount. Okay. Amount is available here. Class A is okay, depending on class B to get the some amount. Now what I should use? BB. Okay. Now I should call in this. Here I have a some method. Now here, what should I do? So, no need all this stuff at this stage. My class A is okay depending on class B. Class A is okay depending on class B. I would say, I would say, my A class is, my A class is dependent class. A class is dependent dependent or source class people are calling okay dependent or source class my b class is b class is dependency class dependency class or target class please try to understand basics are okay important okay dependency class or target class now here see depend see okay my a class is okay depending on this one now here see all spring core is nothing but okay, spring core is nothing but okay, spring core is nothing but how to manage the dependencies spring core it is used to manage the manage the objects dependencies how to manage the object okay, dependencies now we'll see practically we'll see how to manage the object okay, dependencies practically we'll see now so here is okay clear right what is mean by dependency what is mean by dependent and what is mean by dependency dependent Dependent. Dependent is usually two. Dependent is usually two. So always in your project, right? In your in your project, okay, big big classes are there. Compulsory one pro one class should communicate with another class. Dependent means it is an it is an object object which is required which is depending on which is depending on please 
try to understand which is okay depending on depending on another object okay depending on another object okay. depending on another object another object to get some information what is the dependency what is the dependency okay what is the dependency dependency is used it is an object it is an object required by required by another object required by another object to carry out to carry out the functionality please try to understand i told already basics are very very important you may get bored but please have some patience to understand all this stuff in your in your project development compulsory you would be there are multiple classes are there in in our project development in our real time so compulsory one class will be depending on another class here i have a class c i have a class b class a is okay depending on class b class a is okay depending on class b here class a is called okay, dependent and class b is called dependency and class b is called okay dependency okay right now here see so now you came to know what is dependent and what is okay dependency now actual game will start now please try to understand i will be providing all this to at the end of the class now i will take one small our our real our real okay, use case team what is our real use case simple example team common example do you know what is mean by this pedigree i have a three objects team pedigree object dog object dog owner object i have in three objects and three objects are very simple objects you can so why i am okay explaining this means you can understand in our uh, you know understand in our day to day okay, real time okay, activities pedigree dog object dog owner object these are the three classes team how this simple class you know public class pedigree what is the, there here simple method public void eat team public void eat team eat okay done here simple class why i am copy paste means these classes i will be used for in another approaches another approaches okay i will be used for these classes team now okay, next one see now please okay, try to understand what is the class here how the class is then public class simple class you have your dog what is the pedigree means dog uh, food team how we will be eat our breakfast our dinner right it's kind of dog food is called pedigree public i am writing one constructor constructor is called a dog here i am creating object this dot p is equal to new pedigree new pedigree now please try to understand now public void eat method here you will be calling 
this dot p dot e to t now done now done so now this is what one simple class team one simple class here my class is a candidate team i am saving this class also why i would be using all these classes in upcoming okay, approaches okay instead of typing again go to here team what is my simple dog owner class public class dog owner assume that we have a code static wide method and all i'm i don't want all now what happened here dog d is equal to new dog new dog dog d is equal to new dog d okay let's assume that here we have one simple okay sop is there system dot out dot uh, print ln eat some pedigree eat pedigree eat pedigree team now let's see what is output team see my dog owner is okay depending on dog my dog is calling to my dog owner will call to this dog dog owner will call to this dog so dog owner has the responsible to create the object of the pedigree and my pedigree you know my dog will call to eat method can anyone explain what is the output team now here what is the output team here now what is the output team can we say okay, output is eat pedigree or not team hope you are following yeah now here here actual game start team now here see please concentrate please yeah concentrate good now here see my dog owner is depending on is okay depending on dog my dog is depending on pedigree i would say this is called dependent or source or source object some people are calling dependent some people are calling source object here this will be acting as a dependent and dependency dependent and dependency but this pedigree would be acting as dependency or target object now can anyone explain what are the drawbacks with this approach anyone in this approach what are the drawbacks in this approach drawbacks are okay, disadvantages or okay, advantages we'll talk disadvantages and advantages disadvantages yeah and okay advantages good someone is okay, responding advantages see first disadvantage here you know please try to understand first disadvantage is here D here this dog right dog right advantage is su su super okay advantage is your dependent does not know internal de details of the dependencies means here strong encapsulation here advantage is strong encapsulation team why strong encapsulation what is your encapsulation that's why oops concepts are pre-requesting here we have strong encapsulation we have what is strong encapsulation let me explain here we have proper encapsulation in our place proper okay, encapsulation in place encapsulation is maintained What is encapsulation here? Encapsulation means 
hiding okay work implementation details are hiding can encapsulation is nothing but data hiding plus okay, abstraction here dog owner don't know what dog is eating dog owner don't know internal details of the dog dog owner just create the object of the dog dog will take care to you know send the pedigree food to your pedigree class that's why here advantage is proper in okay encapsulation is maintained because of because dependence dependence may be dog or uh, dog owner or dog doesn't know doesn't know the doesn't know the internal internal details of their dependencies internal details of their dependency what is like a disadvantage st no first disadvantage is tight click coupled what is tightly coupled to team here dog only eat pedigree only if you want to supply other than the pedigree like chicken or mutton or whatever it bread or whatever it you should go to dog class you should modify the code manually if day after tomorrow it will eat another one you should modify your code manually that's why it is dog eats only pedigree that's why it is called tight link coupled team if you want any new food you should change your source code if you want a new food you should change your source code team second one team we can't write the unit test cases the code is like this we can't write the unit test cases there is a difference is there unit testing and doc okay, integration testing these days market without unit testing there is no project in java that's why maven software has written maven software has provided one src test test folder every maven project default project structure is src main java book src test java means every project unit test cases are mandatory without unit test cases there is no project implementation team but, but here we are actually we are missing this unit testing team here we are missing here you need to get testing team here so now what happened to overcome these problems now what happened to overcome these problems now straightly we should change team so drawback one is it is tightly coupled and uh, you know uh, and also we can't write the unit testing team advantage is super proper encapsulation is maintain because of dependents don't know the internal details of their dependent system to overcome these problems how our structure would change team to overcome th these problems how our how our coding structure we can modify our coding like this how to do simple team that's why i am copy paste earlier my code i am using here the simple one i am not complex code i am not copying all is simple only it is my pedigree it is my dog dog now what happened here you know 
instead of you will created the object inside of your constructor now you will created this object here inside constructor means it is not in our hand this dot p is equal to p it is now your no p dot it that's fine no that's fine so now you have a dagger public class dog owner i don't want to write too much of code i want to write some pedigree p is equal to new pedigree dog d is equal to new dog okay now here i should pass here p is it loosely coupled for some extent but still it is tightly coupled only pedigree only always you should supply the pedigree in this approach what is the drawbacks you know first drawbacks still it is tightly coupled second drawback encapsulation is breaking here why encapsulation is breaking your dependent knows okay implementation of your dog means your dog will eat only pedigree only to overcome this approach if you want to communicate with if if we want communicate with in project development in 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 project development there would be multiple classes if we want to communicate with one if you, if you want to communicate one object with another object then we should we should we should communicate via interface not direct classes let's see what is the okay, interface of approach t what is the okay, interface approach see here what is the okay, interface okay, approach here we have a space we'll see here interface approach c what is the okay, okay, interface approaches please concentrate I will use a okay, interface is called public. I will use a okay, interface is called public interface. Food is the okay, interface. What is there here? Public wide eat. By default, okay, interface will have public only. You no need to specify any wide. How many classes? We have so many implementations so many implementations we have class pedigree implements food okay now another one is here we have a imp one is interface another one is imp so many implementation classes here it is pedigree done another one is if you want to eat bread another one is if you want to eat meat all it is an interface it is an interface team now please try to understand now how my dark class structure now very simple how you are a dark class of structure is there see here how you are a dark class of structure is there approach three it is what i will do here i would pass here food to team
this dot f is equal to f eat and all okay now what happened the flow will go to any of the if you go for what food you are going into provide now let's see now we have a class is called dog owner dog owner now please here there is a now it is what food you want now you want food is called bread or you want food is called meat or what food do you want? What food do you want? You want bread or you want to eat or what food do you want? No, you have to provide that one team. You create the dog object. New dog, pass that food here. This is called loosely coupled team. This is called loosely coupled. But here, what you are doing here, manually applying your dependencies here. This is called loosely coupling. Now it is called 100% it is loosely coupled team. It is loosely coupled for, so and, and also it is a unit testable code. What are the advantages with this is please try to understand now we are entering into our our spring core if you understand this we are entering into our spring core first advantage time it is unit it is loosely coupling why it is loosely coupling whatever you want to food you can at runtime, you can pass that food okay, without modifying your dog object. You can, you can, uh, you know, um, send a pedigree, you can give bread or you can give meat, whatever you want, okay, you can give them food to team. Understood team? Next one is unit test to code team. It is unit test code. Okay, unit of testable code means the drawback also here team first drawback it breaks the encapsulation why your dog owner should know what dog will eat that means your dependence knows the dependencies implementations second one is unnecessary it creates it creates unnecessary objects it creates unnecessary dependencies be between it creates unnecessary dependencies between between unrelated unrelated classes or objects 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 so to overcome all these problems to overcome all these problems the, there is a concept is called dependency injection what that concept is there here you know see, see, see here to overcome all these problems please here only problem to overcome these problems we should go for a dependency injection. What this dependency injection will do? Public class. It is dog owner only. But I have a constructor is called a dog. Dog. What I will do? Private dog owner. You should see here. Dog, dog team. Please try to understand. This dot dog is equal to dog. That's it. That's it. Advantage one. Here, dog is loosely coupled food. 
Advantage two, you can write unit test case. Advantage three, no broken encapsulation. Why? Your dog owner don't know what dog is eating food. Just your dog owner will pass the dog object. Here the question is, who will supply the dog object? Who will supply the food object? Who will supply the dog owner object? That is called dependency injection. What is the advantage here? Please, in this approach team, advantages. Advantages means first advantage. Dog is loosely coupled second advantage is here unit test code unit testable code third advantage here third advantage here no broken encapsulations encapsulation unnecessary dependencies between the classes and objects no need that is that is no need internal details of details of dependencies dependencies you can understood team so if you look at code if you look at this code team this code team if you look at this code this code if you look at this code only this code please this code if you look at this code is there anywhere like a developer is creating objects team are you seeing anywhere like a developer is okay creating the objects are you seeing anywhere like a developer is creating anywhere objects no developer is not creating the objects anywhere developer is not creating the object anywhere if you look at this code developer is not created object anywhere but developer is okay, expecting someone will create the object so, developer is okay, expecting someone else will create the object that is someone else is called spring spring will provide this object to team someone is called spring spring will create the objects team if spring will create the object 100 percent it is loosely coupled unit testable code encapsulation also it should not break understood team how this spring will provide these objects now we'll see now in spring core or the spring core okay spring core okay using these modules using these modules okay we can using these modules spring will create the required objects required objects required objects and supply to application so supply to the application that is that is developer developer no need to create no need to create any objects in no need to create any object in application development application development so that so that our application development is our application would be loosely coupled application would be loosely coupled team now here see how spring will supply this one how question is how spring will provide the objects how will spring will provide the objects how to get the how to get the objects from spring now we'll see important to implement to implement spring ioc 
to, to implement spring core we should we should follow three steps team step one configuration step two step two dependency injector i will explain in depth to team how the jvm would be happened okay everything we'll see now step three step one how to configure and step two dependency injector step three get bean use the beans use the beans use the beans are get the beans use the beans are get the beans step one configuration step two dependency injector step three use beans are get the beans get the beans and use them and use wherever required very very important team please concentrate please concentrate i am going to draw one diagram if you understand this diagram it is very very easy first one team configuration team configuration you can do uh, you know you can do either xml or you can do either java config and all okay in spring first one team configuration team i would explain how this uh, beans will be created jvm and all i will explain everything please try to understand team here the step one is step one is configuration we'll start from here step one is configuration team this configuration is maybe xml configuration maybe java configuration here you would be using xml or you would be using java configuration if already your xml is there why you should go for java configuration if already java configuration is there why you should go for annotations all will discuss team all will discuss next one is xml configuration java configuration and the next one is annotations team now always configure three questions team number one what objects to create number two how to create them number three what dependencies inject inject please try to understand what dependencies inject what dependencies inject now this three are important so first one answer what objects to create what objects to create you need to create objects first one answer means you need to create dog owner object you need to create dog object you need to create pedigree object you need to create dog owner and a dog dog owner dog pedigree bread meat comma food all these objects are created okay what objects to be created means you should have clarity these objects we should be create now here see how to create how to create and what dependencies are required that's all you should know team 
that means you should do first one how to create see create pedigree object second one pedigree object will always how the object will be created default constructor only object would be created using default constructor second one create dog object and inject inject into pedigree object inject into pedigree object third one create dog owner object and inject inject dog object inject dog object inject dog object inject dog object inject dog object, dog object which is created created in step 2 which is created in step 2 please concentrate first you know what happened step 1 it is a one comment step 2 it is a one comment step 3 it is a one comment how your spring understand all these comments spring understand one language is called that language is called some configuration beans understand one configuration i will explain to him in depth we will see beans here we are going with okay step by step beans what this spring will do okay first what object you want pedigree object no problem bean id is equal to pedigree class is equal to com dot srinotech dot pedigree please try to understand next to half an hour very very important how this will be loaded into your JVM and all we are trying to see next half an hour. Please okay, try to okay, understand okay, next half an hour. Now, see, okay. Now, created the dog object. How to create this dog object here? Same like bean, ID, ID id now dog object means dog class is equal to com dot srinotech dot dog object but dog object is okay required for what dog object is okay required for what dog object is required pedigree how to required if you see our source code dog object is required pedigree via constructor via constructor team i would pass here constructor or you can see reference is equal to pedigree please try to understand pedigree okay team now my dog what is the last step last step is called dog owner dog owner instead of typing team i'm copy paste here dog owner com dot dog owner 
constructor argument here adopting these kind of instructions you are going into provide these kind of instructions you are going into provide this is the configuration configuration does not create any object configuration does not create any uh, you know objects and it will not load anything configuration is you just provided on xml or annotations later we'll see at this stage of xml how your spring understand how your spring understand this of xml you have to provide this configuration you have to provide this configurations team so that let's assume that you will give this configuration is nothing but uh, you know spring or spring config dot xml xml okay how to config how to all will see practicality see you are injecting you are trying to injecting your dab object via constructor that's why it is called constructor injection so dependency injection means the process of getting the dependency the process of getting the objects instead of you will create the object someone else will provide the object that someone else is called spring will provide the objects that is called a dependency injection so here you are just to providing your okay, instructions here that is called configurations team that is called configurations just you provide the okay, instructions what you want how you want that's it any questions here now now actual game will start now so what happened you know this configuration will be given to whom you know this configuration will be given to your dependency injector this configurations will be given to whom dependency injector this configuration will be given to who dependency injector dependency in injector very very important see dependency injector now how you will be supply this dependency injector you know i will explain later team all i will explain later there is some class is called bean factory new there is a class is called bean factory team bean see whenever this bean factory would be okay, executed what happened okay, internally okay, i will explain team new xml bean factory you will be provided new class path new class path new class path resource or new class path source whatever it new class path resource you would pass your xml file what xml file spring iphone config iphone xml file please try to understand so you are supplying your configuration configuration means just to configure what you want how you want whenever you are supplying your xml to your injector what this injector will do what this injector will do it will what this injector will do it will read it will 
pars your xml if your xml is okay and everything is good okay it will reads all the configuration and understand it will read all the configuration understand what what to do okay and now it will created a one container it will created a one container i would say that container is called spring ioc that container is called spring ioc i would talk about more on this container this container is called means spring ioc spring ioc here it is called container what is mean by container container means something information in our we have some container right so what this dependency injector will do will parse or read configuration and understand understand what to do it will it will it will create a one container inside of the container first pedigree object will be created next dog object will be created next dog owner object will be created first pedigree object will be created next dog object will be created next dog owner object would be created now here how the internal it will be happen let let me explain spring container spring container holds all the objects all the objects okay references all the objects okay references created by dependency injector all the objects okay references created by dependency injector now next one if we want object if you want object it from container if you want object it from container okay instead of create okay okay instead of create the okay if you want object okay if you want object get it from container get it from container okay instead of create okay instead of create manually manually while creating these objects what happened you know automatically this dependency inj injection also would be happened automatically dependency injection also it would be happened how how the internally will be working sir how the internally will be working very very important now where the jvm will will come here where the jvm will come here the question is now what happens when you create the bean factory what happened when you create the bean factory please try to understand what happens when we create bean factory or execute okay what happened and we create the bean factory object so what is our bean factory code bean factory factory is equal to new xml bean factory or new class path whatever it new class path resource here xml file and never this statement it would be executed what happened you know please try to understand first one 
first one it will it will read the it will read the xml file it will read the xml file and validate it will read the xml file validate it if the xml is valid is okay okay if the xml is valid then if the if the xml is valid then then it creates it creates xml then xml bean factory xml bean factory creates creates in memory in memory logical memory in jvm in memory in memory in partitioned in memory logical creates in memory logical memory partitioned partition okay inside jvm inside jvm inside jvm next one so loads 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 this spring bean configuration file and place metadata metadata means all these are called metadata all are called metadata and place metadata in the logical memory please try to understand so how whenever you you are loading your xml file your xml bean factory will load a whole okay it will be created some memory okay, inside of your jvm it will load whole xml into so it will place place means your metadata means all your beans information in the logical memory partition see now the logical memory partitioned partitioned logical memory partition created by xml bean factory is called ioc container he is called ioc container he is called ioc container and it returns and it returns the reference reference of ioc and it okay, returns the reference of ioc ioc and it returns the reference of ioc container as bean factory means simple team the okay it returns the reference of ioc container as bean factory that means it will give as your reference is bean factory bean factory or our okay, application card context okay i will explain to you bean factory or application context team and you call now step two is done step three how to get the object and you call bean factory dot get bean i want a dog owner object i want a dog owner object
I want a dog owner object. See, whenever you called this one, now what happened, you know? It goes to first in memory, in memory of the IOC container. It will search if the bean is present inside of the container or not. If it is find, if it is not find, it will throw error is like uh, exception and terminate your application. If not find, if not find, now see. Step number one. So in this case, your bean factory goes to goes to IOC container. In the bracket logical memory and searching searching for the bean definition searching for the bean with given id id means dog owner dog owner if the bean definition is not found if the dog owner is not found then it will throws exception and exit application to once the bean definition found once the bean definition found then it will read it will read the corresponding class name it will read the corresponding class name it will read the corresponding class name and loads the loads the class into jvm jvm memory and instantiate 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 the object of the class instantiate the object of the class just try to understand thing. instantiate the object of the class understood do you think i was in container is a software no it's not a software it's a just one logical memory partition one logical memory partition so whenever the statement will be executed it will load the whole xml file it will create the one logical memory inside of the jvm it will load all the metadata means all the configuration inside in this xml file So the logical memory partition is created by the XML factory is called IOC container. And it returns the reference of IOC container as a bean factory. Once you got the reference of this bean factory, bean factory dot, you can perform any operations with this container. okay once this bean definition found then it will read the corresponding class name and loads the class into jvm and okay and and instantiate of the classes okay okay work instantiate the object of that classes Understood team. Any questions team here? Any questions here? 
what is mean by ioc principle ioc means co collaboration ioc means collaborations collaboration of objects and managing managing the life cycle objects is called ioc what is mean by collaboration collaboration of objects what is mean by this collaboration collaboration means managing dependencies life cycle means when object will be okay, instantiation and an object will be destruction understood right ioc is the collaboration of the objects collaboration of the, of the objects means manage the dependencies of the objects and managing the life cycle objects is called ioc is called ioc any questions team any questions now next one team see and ever this statement would be executed to implement spring ioc always we need in three steps are required to implement spring ioc always we need in three steps are required first step is how to configure second step is how to apply this dependency injector Third step is how to get the beans of already created beans. All the beans team. Okay, understood team. So here, here dependency injection, two ways we can do this how to manage the dependencies. Manage the dependencies in two ways. One is dependency lookup but dependency lookup means if we write the code to manually go to the container get the object he is called dependency lookup if the developer developer write the code write the code to manually manually go to container and get the object get the object he is called dependency lookup number two dependency injection dependency injection means it will it will provides the automatically it will provides the objects dependency injection means automatically automatically get the dependencies objects how it happens now we'll see practically understood not always your spring container will store the objects only object of references only and but objects will be stored in jvm objects will be stored in jvm jvm understood so whenever the statement it will be executed what happened here all the objects all the objects would be created here your references would be inside of this container objects would be available here your jvm 
so here what are the objects here you will get pedigree object you will get it dog object you will get it dog owner object that's all team now here see now what happened here so now till now we are clear now okay everyone is asking is container is software or hardware answer is no it's not software it's not hardware container is just like a hash map hash map hash map what are the okay hash map here hash map means key value where key is equal to id and value is equal to class name key is equal to bin id and value is equal to class name bin is equal to where key is equal to bin id and value is the class name thing spring internally will use will use reflections to create the objects inside jvm to create the objects inside the jvm understood team dependency injector means so okay, instead of you will do if the dependencies are okay required for an object okay external component will supply this object is called a dependency injection dependency lookup means developer has the like, responsible to um, go to the container and get the required object understood team any questions here any questions here you can ask most of them people are asking sir what is the difference between dependency injection and ioc answer is no nothing dependencies so you would tell to answer inversion of controller ioc ioc means inversion of controller what is mean by inversion inversion means i have a class a class a is okay depending on class b class b is okay depending on class c this is called okay, inversion if if a class will have multiple dependencies then if a class will have multiple dependencies then it is inversing it is called okay inversion so okay, inversion means if you get the a a automatically will bring the b b automatically will bring the a if the class will have a multiple dependencies then get all the dependencies get all the dependencies through one class is called a okay inversion so is it inversion of the control and okay dependencies both are in same means answer yes yes see dependency injection is the one type of the inversion of controller one type of a inversion of controller it does not mean that dependency injection is the only type of inversion of controller to achieve this inversion of controller so many are there one of the pattern is called dependency injection answer what you will tell to your interviewer dependency injection is the is the 
one he is the one type he is the one type of inversion of control one type of inversion of control it does not mean that dependency injection is the only of one type of inversion of controller so there are so many flavors are there to achieve this inversion of control so dependency injection is the one of the flavor one of the type to implement you know this ioc understood team any questions team till now you can ask any questions team till now you can ask team any questions team till now see it this it this okay example all the objects who will create a team all the objects who will create yes yes concurrent dash map also would be used see with this diagram so you just just configure all the objects configure all the objects yeah good question this okay xml bean factory also will be created inside of the jvm only but the reference would be created reference would be created object is inside of the jvm the reference alias name is referring to your container xml bean factory everything inside of the jvm only it will create the one logical partition means the objects are there here only but reference would be given to your container code in our application only i will show you sir after sometime i will show you sir source code is no you should write code in our application only code is not like uh, you know code is not like jvm are you following sir sir please tell me now i see been in application config but don't know where to put sir that i will explain sir that i will explain give me time in practical she will be able to know all just i given uh, you know okay xml is there bean factory is there i would explain okay in depth uh, in our practical stuff in our okay, regular practice i will explain maybe after break we will start our okay examples only so, okay at this stage before you break where you would explain means in our java class we will write sir public class application inside of the application you would write create xml bean factory next one okay which will load which will load config which will load okay, xml file here now what you will do bean factory dot get bean of dog owner okay yeah i will explain sir in 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 practical okay you will be okay, able to knock everything sir give me time okay it is only for just talk okay, introduction i am okay, explaining here now you will use in your code wherever you want a dog object okay dog owner object you can use it sir i will show you practically it is available in public static void main 
just for giving a okay, rough code it is okay, rough code it is okay sir is it clear now here see no so till now what we have okay, discussed okay any questions team okay till now please ask yeah till now what we have okay, discussed team drawbacks of j2ee spring advantages team Sp spring advantages team keyboard issues team the next one team we have okay, discussed about what is dependency injection sir ioc there are many types are there ioc or okay, inversion of controller okay i would explain sir there are see dependency injection is the one there are many ioc are there okay, dependency injection is not the new one dependency injection is not the new one sir another one is called juice juice is the google framework juice is the google framework it is created by google it also uses the dependency injection ioc is the one of the flavor of this dependency injection sir okay i would explain in after this so in during programs okay i will explain sir okay yeah see now till now we have okay, discussed about only basics only basics what is the introduction what is dependency injections and how many types is there in in practical i will explain sir now you'll start oh look xml i have shown but after the break right we'll start our 25 work examples practically sir okay 25 work examples practically how many types of containers types of spring containers we have only two we have only two one is bean factory other one is application context i will show you practically if already bean factory is there why you should go for application context i will explain practically sir so from after the break he'll go for only practicals only practicals if already okay, xml is there why we should go for java config what are the drawbacks with this okay, xml okay what are the annotations we should use everything we'll see after the break all okay interesting topics would be there sir okay please don't miss okay after the break what is mean by dependency injection dependency injection means it is the process of okay it is the it, it is the process of getting getting the objects getting the objects from spring container instead of instead of created by instead of created by the developers okay, instead of created by the developers okay, instead of created by the developers it is the process of it is the process of getting the objects from spring container okay, instead of okay instead of created by the developers okay now we are teaching okay very very important <clears throat> now in this concepts now what happened how many ways we can apply this with dependency injection one is sector injection another one is constructor injection 
one is setter injection another one is constructor injection another one is constructor injection so what is mean by setter injection what is mean by constructor injection when you should go for a setter injection when you should go for constructor injection team now here see please try to understand i have class a simple okay i will give team later okay i will explain in our okay, examples and i have class b so you will be like, informed to your spring hey spring i am depending on class b how you are okay, depending on bb that's fine so you are depending on your b via constructor you are depending on b via constructor this dot b is equal to b this dot b is equal to b here we have nothing is there as of now okay, ignore it here we have simple class is called b class what is there how is there we'll see you are creating your object via constructor it is called constructor dependency injection if it is setter means team ultimately who will give this who will give this in your spring xml only spring iphone config xml instead of you will be struggled okay, instead of you will be struggled who will give your spring only will give how this spring only will give beans bean just i am telling here bean id id b class is equal to b class com dot st dot b class i would explain to him all this but how to do your setter injection setter injection means simple team i have a b is there how to implement this setter injection means class a i am injecting via setter team b b you need to write setter here how to write setter public void set a sorry set b now here you should write it here b, b. here b b b please be unmute this dot b is equal to b now done actual interested thing is now here see what is mean by dependency injection so when you should go for how this can be a helpful team now here see now please try to understand how it is happened and all very very important team when we should go for setter injection and uh, when we should go for constructor injection i will show you practically before the going to practically i will give up one small like, definition team so that okay, you will be okay, able to know i am using setter injection okay setter injection to this understand. conference no. will now be recorded. Okay, next one. Constructor injection. The dependent object is injected into targeted object via constructor. It is called constructor injection. It is called constructor in injection team 
is called constructor injection okay now we'll now we'll see now we'll see it so when you should go for this and all okay, i would explain now practically we'll see so it is first example team i am going to see constructor example team see you can take either one of the example what is the use case of this example team use case you can take customer customer will use some credit card credit customer will use some card this card will go to some payment this is the use case or sir easily understand use case okay, everyone it is okay but everyone means simple team simple i want i want use some use some i want to use some pen i want to use ink ink required some pen using pen i will write something to just a simple use case ink pen and write okay simple use case at the end of the course i will take in this use case also and i would explain to you what is the use case and all of i would explain at this stage i am using this one team simple one means my pen is okay ink is okay, depending on pen and pen is here no my pen is okay depending on ink okay team now how to write here so using pen i will write something team my writer is okay depending on pen it is a writer my pen is okay depending on okay, ink team okay it is a simple use case so many okay examples we are going to run in this team so many okay, examples simple examples public class writer what is required here writer pen is required simple use case i am taking pen is required now how to use this constructor 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 important constructor i am injecting this but who will supply the objects spring will supply how the spring will supply i would explain here your writer your writer is depending on pen pen is okay depending on ink ink how to inject this ink via constructor so you are not going to create any object in your application who will create the object who will supply the objects your spring will supply the objects doesn't matter if it is a web application any module web application batch jobs spring boot dao mvc orm any module all the modules objects are required right who will give objects all the modules our spring core model will how the spring core model will give it is the help of dependency injection how the dependency injection will work now we'll see that much of power this spring core okay team now here see okay important here now here some methods are there okay now we'll see 
so you are not creating any objects here now first example i am going with xml what is xml team hope everyone knows this maven maven means it just to provide the your spring dependent system so to develop this i need spring core jar is required and i need spring context jar is required i need spring core jar is required i need spring context jar is required okay now here t the next one this this dependence i will use in all the applications all the examples first example we are adding this okay dependencies okay next one c team next one i have one writer my writer is okay depending on my writer is okay depending on pen okay pen is the interface i told if you want to communicate with, uh, from one class to one another class always always interface is required always okay interface is required now i have an okay, interface now i have an interface now please try to understand i have an interface now interface what is the implementation pen implements pen it is dependence on what ink go for ink ink implementation is as of now black as of now black ink team i have two interfaces pen implementation is fountain pen ink implementation is black ink writer my writer is depending on pen my pen is okay depending on my pen is okay depending on ink. ink any have you seen anywhere developer is creating objects team have you seen okay anywhere okay, developers are okay, creating objects team have you seen anywhere developers are creating the objects to communicate from writer to from writer to pen and pen to ink no right good now here see now please concentrate who will create a configuration team configuration configuration c team this is common what is the use of this means to validate your xml document is valid or not that means bean will have how many attributes you can't write in this bean a b c x y z it will give error to validate this whole xml is valid or not using this namespace team using this schema that's why it is mandatory now first starts from where writer writer is okay depending on fountain pen pen is depending on constructor argument black ink black ink are you clear this configuration or any doubts this configuration are you clear or not just i have provided the configuration in xml configuration b id is equal to writer b id is equal to fountain pen b id is equal to blacking okay everyone please okay respond are you clear or not okay, everyone okay hope you're clear team now so all are good with this configuration now how to load this configuration how to load this configuration so that so that how to load the configuration to load the configuration i need what i need what either xml bean factory or application context application context is required you should go for bean factory or you should go for application context i will explain when you should go for bean factory and you should go for application context now see 
that's why we should go for see application context to context is equal to new class path xml application context application context to context is equal to new class path application context whenever the statement would be executed see bean factory is an one interface bean factory is an one interface there are the implementation classes is one extend interface is called application context under this application context so many implementations classes are there so many implementations are there depends upon the requirement you should go for and i should go for bean factory and i should go for application context i will explain bean factory is an interface you have two things extend on other interfaces It is one is implements another one is extends one is implements another one is okay extends implements a class is called xml bean factory implements a class is called xml bean factory extends a class is called application context that means application context will have more features than bean factory bean factory when we should go for bean factory and you should go for application here which implements application context implements application context interface implements so many classes if you are using okay xml configurations implementation class is called class path xml class path xml application context if you are using java config annotation config application context so many implementations if you are using only file file system xml application context so many are there so when you should go for bean factory when you should go for application context bean factory is only suitable for standalone applications standalone applications it is only applicable for standalone applications standalone applications for dependency injection application context not only for standalone application context will be a helpful for standalone applications and also web applications web applications and also it would support for internalization <coughs> i 118 application i internalization application and also it would support for during startup if you want any events application events it supports for aop it supports for application events everything it would support for all it would support for all standalone applications web applications okay 
I-118 applications, AOP application, application events. So now, because it is an extent of your bean factory, bean factory will have only standalone applications for dependency injection, whereas application context would be in support for all. If your configuration, if your bean configuration available inside of XML, go for new application, new class path, okay, XML. If your bean configuration is available in Java config, now go for annotation config application context. Understand, sir? It depends upon the requirement, you should use all. So here I am using application context. Context is equal to new class path XML application context. Whenever line number 12 will be okay, executed, your application context will be created a one logical memory okay, inside of your JVM. Okay, inside of your JVM. And it will load all the metadata of your XML document and it will load all the metadata of your XML document and stores into memory, stores into memory. Understood, sir? And it will create, stores into memory, and it will create as the application context, okay, reference here. Application context, okay, reference here. That means, whenever line number 12 will be executed, Line number 12 will be executed. Now here what happened, you know, during your application startup, it will take care creation of the partition objects all into your memory. So it will create the, it will create the ink object, it will create the pen object, it will create the, uh, you know, writer object here. Ink object, pen object, and writer object here. Your writer would be injected to pen. Your pen will be injected to ink. Writer will be injected to pen. Pen will be okay, injected into writer. It is called your application context your application context object is the okay, reference is the okay, reference application context object would be reference here application context object would be in reference here team please try to understand so whenever you called this context dot get writer, okay. Whenever you called context dot get bin, there are so many overloaded methods are available in get bin. What are the overloaded methods? Context dot context dot get bin of context dot. Run as MB installed. Why it is not appearing? Spring tool should only right. Maven dependency, all dependencies are available here. Maven update project. Context dot. 
it be now now context to dot context to dot get pin see get bin you will have so many overloaded methods team you will have so many overloaded methods here get bin get bin string name get bin class name get bin class name of arguments get bin string name class name so many there are four overloaded methods are available four overloaded methods are available team okay get bin means five overloaded methods are there see whenever this statement would be executed whenever this statement would be executed what happened you know it will it will you know store all this it will create a one logical memory inside of the jvm it will store all the metadata it will store all the metadata of the our configuration it will store all the metadata of our configuration after storing all metadata about this configuration now now what happened you know whenever you are trying to call context dot get to be in what happened you know so it will goes to your container writer before creating writer object fountain pen object will be created before creating fountain pen object black ink object would be created all the objects would be created in where inside of your jvm references would be created in container inside of your jvm it will created a pen object it will created it will created a writer object it will created a pen object it will created a ink object understood team it will created a writer object and pen object and link up and ink object to team so whenever you call this writer remember before creating writer object first pen object would be created be before creating pen object ink object would be creating so when we okay, executed this writer when we have executed in this writer here writer here what happened here you know writer is creating pen object pen dot this write to okay pen is okay depending on what pen is depending on ink it is also calling see ink here no no see okay ink here from this ink now from this pen it will go to where ink that's it here what methods are there what is the ink color ink brand name go to here ink color ink brand name that's it see if you run your application run as java application writing with the black ink of parker brand writing with the black ink of parker brand team any questions team please try to understand again please try to understand again writing with the black ink of parker brand means see whenever this statement would be executed your container will be created inside of the container all your objects and their dependencies also would be available the okay, dependencies also would be available so these objects would be created inside of the your jvm mm -hmm. references would be inside of your container whenever you called get bin dot writer of id with this id name only id means all your bin okay, references class means your objects class means your objects you are calling this object reference 
get bin of id you are calling with object or okay, reference and never the statement it will be executed it will verify with this reference name is available in your container or not if it is available it will try to create the object if it is available it will try to create the object but before creating the object it will create the this dependent okay dependency object that dependency object is called pen object but before creating the pe pen object it will create a dependency object is called ink object so first it would created the ink object and added the it will injecting into pen again it will create the pen object it will be injecting into writer object automatically it came see is it clear or not first example have you created anywhere new operator first example are you clear or not first example everyone team please ask me if you understand this okay remaining will be easy if it is like okay, difficult okay remaining will be a okay, difficult i want to okay, respond to okay, everyone please okay are you clear or not okay archana arjit chaitanya all are clear okay okay engadeshwara all yeah please first example clear team yeah good yeah sure okay okay i will repeat once see it is my project development team just for okay repeat once it is my project of development in real time my project may be a controller my project may be a service my my project may be a dao team as of now to understood uh, you know our uh, one guy so now now what happened quickly i am copy paste this code team what is the code here i am i am depending on writer team so it is my writer so it is the okay writer class it is if you go directly there it is a problem one second it is a writer class it is see how this okay writer is there it is in simple class team so my writer is i have a writer and i have a pen first example okay it may take time please concentrate Okay, if I write here notepad also, okay, you can understand easily Java. Okay. Now here see okay. Next one. What is next one? Third one. Third one is ink team. Ink. Please. Now why I am copy paste here in three classes we can use at once team. That is the reason only I am okay writing here. See my writer is a i have a pen interface pen interface is okay depending on some pen interface has only one implementation class as of now that is fountain pen my writer is okay depending on pen my pen is okay depending on ink ink means only one implementation class is black ink now here what happened are we using here constructor injection or etc injection see why are constructor i am injecting my targeted object why are constructor i am injecting my targeted object yeah whenever you are using your okay whenever you are using your object via constructor it is constructor injection you are calling interface you are not passing class whenever you are communicating between two objects always recommended go for interfaces not for the concrete classes that's why you are using here interfaces you have your interface also in our code it is my interface 
my interface will have implementation class is called this one so writer is calling to pen pen is calling to ink ink also i have a one simple interface ink will have two methods one is get color here overloaded those override here black get brand name parker have you created anywhere new operator is developer is creating this new operator no developer is not creating this new operator how it happens we are only creating how we are creating beans okay, inside of the beans how we are preparing please concentrate bean id first to what object i should create first to what object i should create i should create ink ink which ink you are creating black ink class is class is equal com dot three note echo dot black ink black ink please try to understand now next one bean id bean id see if you see my blacking exactly what i am going to write i am trying to use here that's it i am trying to close okay what is next bean what is okay next bean team next bean is equal fountain pen how to write this com dot stenotech dot fountain pen but it is okay depending on what it is depending on what it is depending on ink how it is okay depending on ink how it is okay depending on ink how it is okay depending on ink i am using constructor iphone arg constructor iphone arg reference reference black ink who will write developer will write all this stuff developer will write all this stuff developer will write all this stuff okay, next one constructor okay, next one last one is bean bean next one is beans next one is beans now what i should do here it is a fountain pen is done now i should go for writer you should write you should write you need to use which one fountain pen so always now what i am trying to do here in my code in my java code application context is equal to new class path application context is equal to new class path okay xml resource application context here you should load your xml file what it will do whenever this statement it will be okay, executed it will load whole all this beans information into your memory it will read this metadata bean id means a okay, reference it will create this spring container okay inside of the container all the objects are available so what you will do objects dot get bean off objects dot get bean off what it would be happened objects dot get bin of writer
no what you got see in your real time you don't know your project may give writer another project may give credit card another project may give a health card so that's why they give this written type as object object means any kind of written type it would be available application context is equal to new application class path xml resource would be executed whenever this statement would be executed now what happened you know context dot get bean would be created context dot get bean but we don't know in your real time which object maybe writer maybe a card maybe we don't know that's why spring guys is given this written type is called object whoever want they need to typecast from object to their own object that is called writer that is called writer 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 context to dot get bin of this one team context to dot get bin of this one team hope you are clear everyone now here see so because of this written type is it is not a user defined class it is a predefined method predefined method always spring framework has given object only because now your spring framework don't know what type of object you are trying to accessing you may be writer or anything team so now you got writer what you are calling simply writer dot now you, you got the object writer dot write method writer dot write and never this statement it would be executed flow will go to here because this writer is already dependent on this pen object now you have you are holding this your writer object will be holding this pen object via this pen object you are calling this write to via this inside of the writer automatically ink object is there via this ink object you are calling ink dot get color ink dot get brand if you go ink dot get color is a black ink dot get brand is the parker working with the black ink of brand is parker that's it now if i run this run as java application writing with black ink of parker team now good okay next one now what is the okay, next one see so in, okay instead of you will give big big names like uh, constructor big big names like this you can go for c you can use either one is okay c c colon c colon ink reference c colon pen reference instead of you will write big big one you can write here c is available from this namespace t so both are same but instead of you will write the big names you will write this in your application context new class path xml application context pass this xml file that, that's it that's it context dot get bean get bean has five overloaded methods how to give only bean id how to give class name how to give both bean id and class name like that we have five overloaded methods are there right click on it run as java application writing with the black ink of parker brand team that's it any questions team first example any questions team first example any questions no questions team no we'll see no second example same use case team okay second example but my code is not changing anything my code is awesome what is your code see my writer object
writer object is depending on pen only but earlier constructor now you are giving setter when you should go for constructor injection when you should go for setter injection that will okay i will explain but now my object is your writer is a dependent object it is a source object you are injecting your target object via setter you are injecting your target object via setter he is called setter injection so now you have a writer writer is okay depending on what pen pen is okay depending on for what ink writer is depending on pen pen is okay depending on ink tip pen is okay depending on ink tip hope you are clear okay everyone now here see but how to write here how to write here important same code team same code nothing change anything same code see how to write earlier constructor inj injection now setter injection how to write this setter injection there is a element is called property there is a element is called property property here property team it is setter right name is equal what is the name you are giving team pen what is the name you are giving team pen what is the name you are giving pen okay inside of the your writer what name is there that one thing here what is the property name is equal to it is depending on ink ref is equal to which ink team black ink team that's it if it is constructor here constructor argument if it is setter here of setter argument and another way you can write instead of you will write property you should give p colon instead of sir this property too much of big okay i can't write means directly you can write here P I fun ref P I fun pen ref is equal. To. Now it is ink ink ref is equal to black ink team. So code is same instead of in our code constructor. Now you are injecting. What is the definition of the constructor injection? The dependent object is injected into a targeted object via setter method is called a setter injection why a setter method is called a setter injection constructor injection the dependent object is injected into targeted object via constructor injection why a constructor is called constructor injection teams understood team or any questions so the concept is same for here also application context context is equal to new annotation config application context see nothing is okay instead of your actual xml file it will give so here setter iphone config.xml oh. okay team or any questions team now you will give run as java application you got the same output or not 
So now you can go for same P namespace. So you can go for P namespace. So you can run th this application also. You will go, sir, this one. Understood. So did you understand? Okay, examples of constructor injection and okay, examples of setter injection. When you should go for constructor injection, when you should go for setter injection, I will explain. Did you understand what is the okay, example of constructor injection and, and example of setter injection? Did you get it, sir? All, okay, everyone. Okay, everyone, did you get it, sir? Please. No. Good. No difference between constructor injection and setter injection. When should, when we should use constructor injection and setter injection. Okay, very, very important. Very, very important. You have any space? Yes. Please try to understand. Constructor injection. Setter injection. Number one. If the dependency is mandatory. That means A is depending on B. A is depending on B. Hey, without B, your A object should not create. Okay, without B, your A object should not create a team. Okay, without B, your A object should not create. If the dependency is mandatory, you should go for constructor injection. If the dependency is optional, if the dependency is optional. Hey, if you are not passing, see, simple example. Take one simple example, test. Maven project. Other project, Maven project. No need, it should be. Either one is okay. Com dot synthetic test. So simple for PO system. In your real time, we will write uh, this kind of thing. Simple for PO Java class A. Yeah. Com dot synthetic dot A. B. B team. No. Here you are using constructor team. A, B. Please concentrate. Okay. No. This dot. B is equal to B. Now oh, please concentrate now. I want created the A object T. Public st static void main string argues. So A A is equal to new A. I cannot create A object. Because A is mandatory, B. If it is constructor, A is mandatory, B. T. Means if the dependency is mandatory, you should go for constructor injection. No. See, let us assume that it is not creating using constructor. Let us assume that. I am commenting. Alt SR, Alt A, 
here I have setter send getters. Now I can create a object a, a is equal to new a. Your setter injection, your see object is created. Whether you will be set to B or not, it's all up to you. If you will set, it is okay. If you will not set, what happened? Default, what is the default value of the object here? The default value of the object will be here, null here. It will give as a null value. Sir, understood, sir? Any questions, sir? See, if the dependency is um, mandatory, you should go for constructor. Dependency is an optional, you should go for setter injection. Constructor. If the dependencies are mandatory, if the dependency is final, all are here, it would be final. Here may or may not be final. The dependency is non final. Dependency is non final. Now, when there is cyclic dependency it is not support how simple you have a a is depending on b and you have b b is depending on a have a b and b is depending on a and b is okay depending on a okay b is okay depending on a understood team now here see now please okay, try to understand here Please try to understand here. To create A object, I need B object. To create B object, I need A object. This is called cyclic dependency. When there is a cyclic dependency, constructor injections are not possible. Whereas here, whereas here, here, when there is a, it is possible for, it is possible for cyclic dependency. It is impossible for cyclic dependencies. It is possible for cyclic dependency. Understood team. These are the use cases team. And I should go for this and I should go for this. So you can make your note. We can make our sometimes okay, interviews are asking how shutter injection also can how the setter injection also mandatory also option is there the answer is yes it is there setter injection dependency is optional means default if you want to make dependency also is mandatory means there is annotation is called other rate required means we are forcefully we are forcefully make dependency dependency as mandatory for setter injection 
we are forcibly we are making a dependency as mandatory for setter injection understood team how to use with the help of other rate required annotations with the help of other rate required annotations are you clear team any questions team so this is what difference between setter inje injection and constructor injection team now we are good okay now next one team what is next one see we, we have seen till now we have seen till now only for xml based approach how to use xml xml using constructor okay xml using setter injection so if already okay, xml is there so we did application development development using using xml using application development for constructor dependency injection comma setter dependency injection using xml configuration using xml configuration if already xml configuration is there if already xml configuration is there why we should go for java config difficulties are drawbacks drawbacks of xml difficulties difficulties are drawbacks of xml difficulties are drawbacks of xml first learn xml need to learn xml need to learn xml to work with xml config need to learn xml to work with xml configuration means to write all this how to write without knowing okay xml without knowing okay, xml code can you you can't write right second one there is no type safety what is type safety xml no type safety no type safety if we pass wrong reference also it will consider if you pass wrong reference also it will consider if you pass wrong reference also that means go to here you will give here a b c you will give here a, okay x y z z your xml don't know right xml will treat it as a it is a string that's it xml feel like it is a string until unless you, if you run your application then only it will give error but 
until you run the application compile time it will feel like it is in correct only until no such bean definition exception no bean named with this one understood team so that's why your xml is not a type safety your xml is not a type safety please try to understand team how to write where to write no third one that is here here you can write xml can't recognize recognize the error during compile time during compile time during run time during compile time during it would identify at runtime only so no type safety these kind of issues will come no type safety these kind of issues always would come by mistake while you are writing if you add any one space if you add any one extra property also unnecessarily it would give error okay now third one team no, no what is third one no third one readable d readable d readable d means xml and java java in different places xml and java in different places so need to keep switch need to keep this switch xml and java in different places need to keep need to keep switch need to keep switch from need to keep switch between xml comma java which affects which affects which affects readability of the code of the code of the code of the core team understood now fourth one means what is the readability means see your xml is available here java is available here how to switch your xml to java you should go again if you want to come come to xml again if you want to go again if you want to come xml means the switching would happen the switching the switching would happen from in xml to java config is somewhat difficult to team is somewhat difficult understood now last one is maintenance last one is maintenance maintenance team if 
if too many in configuration then difficult to, to maintain then difficult to do maintenance if too many configurations then difficult to do maintenance difficult to do maintenance some duplicate ids might be configured some sometimes 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 dependencies ids might be sometimes could duplicate ids sometimes duplicate ids might be configured it be configured understood team so you know what happened if too many are there now what happened this name by any chance here writer name here writer name should be same understood so it is a problem thing it is a problem so maybe duplicate uh, will be there understood team if a duplicate is there again it is the problem team to overcome all this problem we should go for java config did you understand team why you should go for java config if already a xml is there why we should go for java config team anyone can explain why we should go for java and config team if already okay, xml is there hope you got it team got it everyone so need to learn xml to work with uh, configuration next one type safety type safety means don't know whatever you will give it will take as a compile time run time maybe a problem will come third one readability there is no readability because your xml is in somewhere and java is somewhere out to readability now last one is maintenance maintenance means if too many xml lines are there what is the guarantee b in id you may add duplicate if you add duplicate again it is a problem okay got it team now to overcome these all the problems to overcome these problems we should go ahead with we should use we should use we should use java configuration to overcome these problems we should use java configuration team to overcome this problem we should use java configuration team any questions team now what is java configuration now what is java configuration team you will be able to know okay shall we start java config team everyone shall we start java and config okay now we'll see java configuration see team the first annotation in java configuration first annotation in java configuration 
yeah at the rate configuration t at the rate configuration what happened public class you can give anything java configuration you can give anything no at the rate configuration or you can give java config team so java configuration is usually to replace xml with java config now here you have how the xml in basic xml beans inside of the beans what are there bean id is there okay how to replace the xml with java config one simple use case we'll see it in. simple use case we'll see simple use case team here is my xml config this is my okay, okay xml i have a bean team i have a bean bean id bean class like that i have all okay if you want right it'll take one of xml file here you'll write it okay it would be easy either constructor or setter whatever is okay for me we'll take one xml we'll convert this xml into java config it will be easy let's this is xml how to write java config how to write java config c to one team wherever beans are there this beans will be replaced with beans will be replaced with at the rate configuration beans will be replaced with at the rate configuration the public class java config public class java config please try to understand him Are you clear team this beans is replaced means your xml is replacing with the java configuration how to use this java configuration where to use this java configuration i will explain wherever bean is there you will be replaced with how many beans are there here three beans are there bean team bean wherever id is there public fountain pen id return new fountain pen return new fountain pen please try to understand now next bean team what is next bean b next bean is focusing is 
sorry here it is black ink team sorry first one black ink team it is a class team return type done okay now here see it is at the rate bean team at the rate bean it is fountain good but this fountain pen is depending on what black ink black ink fountain pen is depending on black ink tea. we are applying dependency injection via constructor that's why it is called constructor injection that's why it is called constructor injection constructor injection okay team now okay, next one team what is the next one okay, next one see next one here what is there here here writer here writer here what is there fountain pen fountain pen so here what you will pass fountain pen you will pass it. understood now see we are replacing completely wherever id is there here it is called id it is called class name it is called your bean element it is called your bean element team see please whenever the statement it will be executed in your xml in your xml in your xml in your xml this other rate bean is nothing but bean id bean team fountain pen is nothing but Fountain pen is nothing but it is a class name. Class is equal. M method name is nothing but ID. ID. ID team. Okay, understand team. So that's it it is your this is nothing but your reference your target object it is nothing but your target object not that one here you are applying your dependency injection via constructor it is your target object It is your target object. Understood? It is your target object team. Any questions team? 
Any questions, please ask. Any questions? No, here, see. No? We are replacing your XML with Java configuration. Other rating configuration is used to replace your XML with the Java config. Bean element will be replaced with other rate bean. ID class will be replaced with this method name. If it is XML, how to load the okay, XML? If it is XML, how to load the okay, XML application context? Context is equal to new annotation, new class path XML. New class path XML application context. Here you need to write here XML file. If it is Java config, what happened? You know, if it is Java config, what happened? You know, application context. Context is equal to new annotation config application context here you need to give java config dot class please try to understand team you have a configuration Configuration is maybe XML. Configuration is maybe a Java config. If it is XML, I should use this class. Application context is an interface. There are so many implementations are there. Few of the implementations are class path XML application. Sir, we can write, sir. I will explain. We are in starting stage only, right? I would explain multiple and all, Srikanth. We are in starting stage, right, Srikanth? Just I am introducing a configuration class. I would explain all in later upcoming. Okay. Application context context is equal to new annotation config application context. Application context is equal to annotation application context. It will load the XML file. It will load the Java config. It will load the Java configuration. In the both either XML or Java configuration, the preparation of the, you know, it will load the whole into your memory and it will created the object. That IOC object is nothing but it will create the container means it will like refer for what using context inside of the container what would be there inside of the container what would be there here here it would have writer Here you would have once writer is there, then you would have here pen. Then you would have here ink. Writer is calling to this pen. Pen is calling to ink. Ink. Okay, now here see. So the concept is same. How to get here? Both the use cases. Context dot get bin of get bin of you need to use team here, writer team. Context dot get bin of you should use team here, writer team. That's it. So always this different type is object to team. How to convert your object to normal class? Writer team. 
you should give writer writer that's it that's it here understood here any questions here any questions here now let's see i will show you how it gave team did it get it here so till now we have discussed only two annotations one is at the rate configuration another one is at the rate bin are we clear everyone now let's see i will show you this one java config constructor team code is same nothing you are going to change your code from pen you are calling here from the ink you are calling so from pen you are calling ink in ink this data is there now here see how the my spring config cc any doubts in the spring config what are the problem with xml shall we start one by one problem how to overcome by using spring what are the problem with the xml need to learn okay, xml to need to learn xml to work with if it is java config no need to learn xml no need to learn java config also because it is already java right what are you going to write extra here nothing first point is advantage second point type safety yes instead of passing ink if you are passing abc it will give slap like error xml it won't uh, okay okay xml it won't stop it will take but this config this config java config compulsory you should pass the supported value otherwise you will get an error see understood team so here the type safety is good next one readability whatever you want java is also here configuration also here you can easily switch from java to config config to java you can switch how many times you want you can switch it is not a problem now last one maintenance if too many are there if too too many are there what is maintenance if too many configurations then difficult to do maintenance difficult to do maintenance because some duplicate ids might be configured but in java if you are trying to write the same methods it will give error there is a chance to write duplicate ids in java you cannot try to duplicate ids if two methods with the same name java compiler will tell hey, it is an error your class should not have two methods with the same name it will give error so we can overcome all this we can overcome or not what are the xml problems are there understood sir we can overcome all the problems using java config any questions you can ask now oh, here see okay now here see go to your main method to see runner see xml master now application context context is equal to application context dot application context dot get bin of writer and never this statement will be executed what happened now 
whenever this statement would be executed what happened now it will create the memory and all it will go to your jvm it will verify this class is present or not if it is present the corresponding class object with the corresponding class object it will be returned now if i run the application see you got the output or not okay now next one see see this is sir what is the question some projects are still using xml over java can't be sir yes they would be using old version sir due to some no scratch development using java can't be tarun trust me no scratch project using java config is it some projects are started now or long back long back at that time people don't have time or don't want to okay, take a risk to migrate to java config no one has started yeah it's a long back means legacy one legacy project compulsory it was started with xml only if they have client will have funds they need to migrate to java config or spring boot if client don't have funds they should continue with xml config only okay now so till now we have used for what is constructor injection we are using for all our java config with constructor injection we are using okay examples here first example we did constructor injection using xml config setter injection using using xml config same thing constructor injection using java config constructor injection using java config setter injection using java config no we'll see it now we'll see go to here another one java config constructor injection see now it is a setter team see instead of you will write first one is black ink next one fountain pen fountain is equal to new fountain pen okay now see your black ink is your fountain pen is depending on black ink understood your fountain pen is depending on fountain pen is depending on black ink sorry yeah yeah okay okay black ink you got the black ink now write it okay depending on pen now you will get a pen here okay, that's it now how to load this see your code wherever you have code all are constructor only or all setters only your code wherever is there setters only now we should go for runner understood sir 
no granas java kernel that's it that's it any questions any questions team all are clear right all are clear next example is very 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 important next example is very very important what is very very important okay next one so we are using okay xml is okay how to apply dependency injection using xml and java config but what the spring guys will do either it is xml or java config what the spring guys will do why should i write that much of code why should i write that much of code in okay, xml alt shift to team now here what your spring guys will do why should i write too many lines of the code too many lines of the code team please concentrate please concentrate if it is if it is bean only it is xml what is your java configuration what is your java configuration java configuration this is your java configuration now in your project you have 100 classes are there 100 beans are there do you want to write 100 beans manually do you want to write this 100 beans manually no i don't want to write all 100 beans manually in my project if you have 100 beans are there do you write 100 beans manually no we can avoid this whole no need to write you can avoid this whole no need to write how how we simple we can we can reduce the using 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 other rating component At the rate auto wire annotation, we can reduce the we can reduce the boilerplate code using at the rate component at the rate auto wire using at the rate component at the rate auto wire we can reduce the we can reduce the we can reduce the more configuration code using at the rate and component at the rate auto wire we can reduce the more configuration code we can reduce the more configuration code team okay how to reduce how to reduce see here it is very very important how to reduce see how many classes we have how to reduce how many classes we have we have at the rate component public class writer forget about what is there okay, inside of at the rate component here public class
फाउंटेन पेन आर द रेट कॉम्पोनेंट पब्लिक क्लास पब्लिक क्लास ब्लैक इंक ओके यू नो नीड टू राइट हियर एट द रेट कॉम्पोनेंट इज नथिंग बट बीन ओनली एट द रेट कॉम्पोनेंट इज नथिंग बट बीन ओनली हाउ यूर स्प्रिंग नोस इट इज ए बीन हाउ यूर स्प्रिंग नोस All the classes are beans. If it is XML, you should write only one entry. T component scan base package is equal to com dot sino teku dot star. Component dot base package is equal to com dot sino teku dot star. That's it. This component scan. Component scan. Component scan base package is equal to com dot st star. understood here copy in our during your your this xml configuration during your application startup while loading this xml config it will scan in this package is there any component classes are available or not if it is available it will create the objects in java config how it will knows there is a annotation is called at the rate component scan annotation is called at the rate component scan i would explain practically base package is equal to com dot st base package is equal to com dot stt base package is equal to com dot st understood to you Understood, team. So you can avoid so much of barrier plate code. Then you may ask questions. You may ask some questions. Now please concentrate. Okay, okay, please. How to earlier using constructor injection you are able to inject object. Now how to inject? how to apply the how to apply the dependency injection how to apply the dependency injection how to apply the dependency injection using at the rate component Answer is at the rate auto wire. At the rate auto wire. At the rate auto wire. Annotation. At the rate auto wire. Annotation is used. Is used. Is used to apply the. Is used to inject the. is used to inject the target object into 
source object inject the target object into source object inject the target object into source object inject the target object into source object so at the rate auto wire at the rate auto wire can inject via constructor can inject via constructor at the rate auto wire can inject via setter at the rate auto wire can inject via field also this is one extra properties via field also is available here are you are you clear team how it is happening we would see clear practicals we will see how clear practicals we will see but as of now using as of now as of now using at the rate in component and other data wire we can remove most of the configuration code you don't need to write too much of code you don't need to write too much of code here everything you should write it here only you don't need to write too much of code too much of configuration code at the rate component at the rate auto wire is usually to is usually to to remove the configuration code i would say how many ways how many ways configure a bean how many ways configure bean in spring answer if it is xml using at the rate bean if it is java config using bean xml bean java config using at the rate bean now okay, next one next one if it is at the rate component there are three ways i would explain sir when you should go for at the rate bean when you should go for other component i will explain clearly okay there are three ways three ways we can declare a bean in spring one is using xml another one is java config another one is annotation approach another one is annotation approach team another one is annotation approach team are you clear team now now good now the next thing team how to apply this till now we have seen next one in depth of component and all we'll see if you see here next one auto wiring constructor team now what happened you know before that i would explain now here see at the rate component is is a java bean at the rate component is a java bean which is used to declare that class level which you use to declare at class level class level okay class level now if 
if you will not declare any name to other red component then default then default name as class name we can we can configure our own name to at the rate component we can configure our own name to at the rate configure our own name to configure like at the rate component credit card public class credit card if you will specify okay if you will not specify if you will not specify if you will not specify team then what happened default this name only will take by start with small letter camel letters or you can give okay, xyz no problem your xyz is the bean reference id it is a bean id it is the class name team it is the bean id it is the class name team okay now i want to go with this um, simple one i have a class a i have a class a i have class b i have class c unfortunately what happened you know here it is available in package is called com.cnotech.a it is available in package name is called com dot some series apps or whatever it is it is available in the package is called com dot st dot or com dot abc something now please concentrate it now what should i do how my how my how my spring knows if it is xml if it is xml you don't need to write too much of code beans you don't need to write any code beans be, beans here what you will do you know component scan base package is equal to com dot st now what happened please try to understand during your application startup it will try to scan what are the classes are representing with at the rate component those classes objects only it will be created those classes objects only it would be created okay now my a is depending on b my a is depending on b how to get a how to get b into a b b b b b b how to do public a b b this dot please try to understand this dot b is equal to bt but 
earlier you inside of the xml you are able to configure earlier inside xml you are able to configure beans and also their dependencies also now you are not configure you just using at the rate component scan how you are spring knows on top of this constructor you should give operate at all right on top of the constructor you should give team on top of the constructor you should give at the rate auto wire at the rate auto wire has the responsible to inject the target bean into to inject the target bean into here now another one how to use a setter it is for how to inject my bean auto wire constructor injection How to inject my bean? Public void set a bb bb this dot b is equal to b. Here I am injecting my b into a with the help of setter injection. It is called applying sector injection. Applying sector injection. Now, please try to understand, team. Please try to understand. Now, last one is how to apply this dependency injection. private bb that's it how to apply here here also we have at the rate auto wire it is field level injection it is field level injection you have a constructor injection auto wire you have a setter injection auto wire you have a field level injection auto wire but without writing any code here who will take care the spring will take care component scan means it has the responsible to scan all the classes while scanning is there any dependencies also is there this component scan will take care of everything during your application startup only now we'll show you practically now what package you have given team here base package what is the base package com dot cnotech whenever you give here base package it will scan only it will scan the classes only it will scan the classes only of that package only now is it com dot st abc com dot abc is available under com dot st please respond team now do you think our component scan will scan b and c both or not it will scan b or not component scan will scan b or not no right see no remember remember team when you add this package name it will add root package and the child packages root package and their child package com dot st abc is then child package or not com dot st dot abc is then child package or not yes if it is child one whenever you will give com dot st means it will scan 
all the classes all the classes of com.st and its and its child packages and its child packages now is it in child package of com.st no right is it child package of com.st no right in this case in this case what will do you know how your spring spring will not recognize if you are not specified here you should write comma com dot abc now it will start the scanning of these two packages it will scan the two packages i will show you practically this one i will show you practically this one understood team we very very important this component scanning if it is out of configuration what happened this package is equal to com.st comma com.abc that's it both are same i will explain to you when you should go for java config and you should uh, when you should go for other rate component, when you should go for other rate B, and I will explain. Slowly, we are started, right? I will explain how component scan will work. Answer is how component scan will work. Okay. Answer is. Answer is using component scan. Using component scan or at the rate component scan. Using component scan element in XML or at the rate component scan annotation in java config at the rate component scan in java config team now let's see it is my project structure i have a project name yesterday we have discussed about introduction spring framework introduction spring framework that means drawbacks of j2e j2e and importance of and you know advantages of advantages of spring framework team advantages of spring framework team okay, next one what we have discussed yesterday what we have discussed yesterday number two we have okay discussed number three okay now what is ioc what is ioc we have okay discussed ioc what is ioc now how it works number four Number four, what happens? What happens? Or you can say internal okay, execution, internals, internals, execution, okay, execution flow 
when we create when we create application context is equal to context is equal to new when we create application context is equal to new class path xml new class path xml resource application context or annotation config resource and all we have clearly like explained how the objects where the objects will be loaded and all next one we have okay, discussed about what is dependency injection injection and its types and their types types of dependency injection we have discussed about setter dependency injection we have discussed about constructor dependency injection we have okay, discussed about setter dependency injection we have okay, discussed about constructor injection we have also okay, discussed when to use setter injection versus constructor injection now sixth one sixth one started okay, examples on okay, examples on number one setter injection and constructor injection using xml configuration and immediately we have started what is the drawbacks of xmls if already what is the drawbacks of xml configuration there are many drawbacks in the xml configurations that we have already okay, discussed if you want again i can okay i am okay, ready to okay, explain so here there are many drawbacks one is readability another one is a developer need to learn more of xml document another one is readability performance maintenance now here all we have so many drawbacks in our xml yesterday okay i have okay, explained developer need to learn learn of xml learn of xml yeah to work with uh, xml config now b another one is it's not a type safety means you can any mistakes also you will write right until you you okay deploy your application you can't able to know at runtime only you will be able to know another one is performance performance means whole xml file will be uh, you know read it yeah okay it will load your whole xml it will use internally some parsers like sax parser and dom parsers to read the xml document it will take more time another one is readability readability means switching switching from xml to java config okay, readability means switch from xml to java config okay, every time from java classes to xml it is very difficult another one is maintenance maintenance means if too many configurations are there then sometimes difficult to maybe duplicate um, codes you will write another one is it is not covered yesterday i feel condition based bean declaration bean creation is 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 difficult condition based bean creation is is not possible in xml conditional based means see whenever you created a bean if this bean is equal to not equal to null then only should create okay xml you cannot write this java code okay, inside of your xml you cannot write java code okay, inside of your okay, xml team you cannot write java code okay, inside of your okay, xml team understood you can't write here your java code okay, inside of your okay, xml you can't write java code okay, inside of this okay, xml hope you are able to understand see to overcome all these problems now here see 
now you should go for java configuration team we have okay discussed about how this setter injection and uh, constructor injection using java configuration team please i will share all this notes java configuration and what are the annotations we have okay, discussed yesterday that i will explain now next we have okay, discussed about see how to avoid so much of configuration you know here setter injection and constructor injection setter injection comma constructor injection and field level injection using using auto wire using at the rate component using using okay uh, okay using using java config comma xml config with at the rate component with at the rate component with comma at the rate auto wire understood team no that's it this is what how how it will be okay, executed team this is what how it will be okay, executed team so now we have seen few of the examples few of the work examples how to how to resolve the how to resolve the conflicts how to resolve the conflicts conflicts okay conflicts okay, interface with the uh, interface with the uh, multiple 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 implementation classes classes using 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 at the rate primary annotation at the rate qualifier annotation steam okay now next we have seen what are the annotations spring core annotations spring core annotations we have okay, discussed okay, yesterday one is one is at the rate configuration at the rate configuration now yeah okay, you should tell don't buy her team okay can anyone tell how many okay, annotations we have okay, discussed okay, discussed okay, yesterday can anyone tell team what are the annotations mm, yeah still can you tell me still what are the annotations team can okay, anyone we have okay, discussed yesterday auto wire mm, still can okay, anyone no one everyone is yeah been yeah good mm. still fast fast you should do yes yeah fast yeah see that's the reason all your answers are correct team but whenever interviewer asking if you will remember in this way it is difficult to give answer you directly will start at your auto wire directly will start at other rate import it's not a good how to remember easily how to remember easily these annotations yeah please team how to remember these annotations easily number one team a yeah. yeah yeah please please follow me my uh, you know my uh, way of okay, remembering shortcut it will be easy to answer interviewer first you know spring core annotation yeah 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 please start yeah good Archana. yeah so see first this spring core started no java config started to replace the xml files what is the first annotation to replace the xml file you need to go for at the rate configuration see how to okay you are replacing your xml with the java config at the rate configuration you did okay now how to replace your bean element how to replace your bean element with at the rate bean that's fine now see at the rate configuration is done at the rate bean is done now see what is the c means what is the c means is there any way to reduce the configuration at the rate component how your java knows how your spring knows at the rate component class your spring knows declare a bean your spring knows declare xml tag how your spring knows there is a class is okay representing with at the rate component you need to provide at the rate component scan 
how to inject the beans how to inject the beans from container you have to use at the rate auto wire so like that you have to if you remember in this way it will be easy to if any interviewer will asking yes okay first at the rate and configuration will come then at the rate bean will come then to replace the bean you can use at the rate component how the other rate component will be there you should go for other rate component scan then you should go for auto wire then it is done next one i want to import my xml with yeah i want to import my xml with java config at the rate import resource i i want to import my java config to java config you should go for at the rate this one then then we should go hey how to you know resolve this conflicts you should go for at the rate primary you should go for at the rate qualifier t these are the annotations we have discussed yesterday any doubts any doubts team is it makes sense can you remember easily how many annotations if you give okay one two three you can easily understand how many team yesterday we have okay, discussed one people are asking what are the annotations you have used in spring core can you tell me you will be in the position to give answers for all the annotations if any annotation they will be asking you should tell team is it clear team everyone any questions team you can ask till now this is what we discussed yesterday i will give this is what we discussed yesterday team any questions team you can ask a team component scan mahesh you want again okay i will explain now yeah see okay just you know okay, revision right okay, revision now here see what the okay, revision is asking first how to apply this dependency injections team i am i am using da i am lazy dependency injection okay instead of every time i am writing this dependency injection i am writing da c team yesterday we have okay, discussed about dependency injection can be possible xml xml config and using java config xml config and java config now see now see team now please concentrate if it is xml config and java config what would be happen now please see here using xml config you should do setter injection and you should do constructor injection using java config you should do setter injection you should do constructor injection all these things means developer has the responsible to apply this injection developer has write the configuration manually this is called manual configuration what is manual configuration developer developer has the responsible developer developer will will write configuration manually okay are you okay are you okay, agreed or not xml and java config who will write developer will write team okay have you okay, agreed or not okay xml who will write the developer has to okay, write this configuration is manually java config also developer has the okay, responsibility to write this manually no other shortcuts here but what are the drawbacks with the xml over java config we have okay, discussed here but this configuration should be either xml or java config developer has the okay, responsibility to do the manually if you go for auto wire 
ऑटो वायरिंग ऑटो वायरिंग देन ऑटोमेटिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इफ यू यूज ऑटो वायरिंग ऑटोमेटिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन नो नीड टू राइट एनी कॉन्फ़िगरेशन बाय द डेवलपर Your spring framework will take care automatic configuration, automatic configuration with the help of at the rate component, comma at the rate auto wired annotations. Okay, now at the rate component is used in this case. At the rate component is used is used to make Pojo class as normal class as Spring Bean. At the rate auto wire is used to apply the dependency injection. is used to create the dependency injection understood team please these two are type level annotation type type level annotations means that object needs to be created for that type but in dependency injection for java config or xml config only constructor injection and setter injection but for auto wire auto wired you have constructor injection we have setter injection we have field we have field level injection we have field level injection all these three types we can implement auto wire with xml config we can implement auto wire with java config also Yesterday we have okay, discussed all team, but just a summary I am providing team. Who is going to process at the rate component comma at the rate auto wire? Answer is. Spring has provided some source code to behave their functionality. The process of the process of Spring framework looking for identifying spring framework looking for identifying presence of at the rate component presence of at the rate component annotation and then the process of spring framework looking for identifying the presence of at the rate component annotation and then creating the object is called is called component scan is called component scan at the rate component scan at the rate component scan or at the rate component annotation detection is not enabled by default yesterday i have explained that is it is default behavior 
it is default behavior that is other rate component scan disabled by default disabled by default we need to explicitly we need to explicitly enable it explicitly enable it we need to explicitly enable it next question team any reason why it is disabled any reason why it is disabled at the rate component could be add anywhere in the class path add anywhere in the class path if you are by default okay, enabled these jars will have you know okay assume that you have jars of hundreds of the classes if at the rate component scan is okay, enabled then spring has to search every class in the class path at the rate component will be let's assume that in project in in project in project there will be a there will be a hundred jars in project hundred jars in project at the rate component could be add anywhere in the class path anywhere in the class path if at the rate component scan enabled then spring has then spring has to spring has to search in every class every class in the class path if you want to work at the rate component okay every class in the class path so if every class in the class path okay, how much time it will take it will take so much of time to avoid that it will take so much of time to scan all the classes that's the reason if you want to work with other rate component we have to enable other rate component scan explicitly that's the reason if you want enable okay if you want to work with so it will take so much of time it will take so much of time to scan and to scan it will take so much of a okay, processing time on scanning that is the reason what we are doing okay, instead of scanning every to avoid this that's why by default it was okay disabled that's why by default it is okay disabled by default it was disabled understood right to avoid this so any region of why it is disabled means each and every class it should be verified now okay instead of every class we are now we are so okay enable at package level if that package is available only it will looks for that package only it will scan all the packages what is the package is available at the rate component scan only that package only you can able to look into that understood so now to enable 
to enable at the rate component or if you want to work with at the rate component work with at the rate component then we have to enable we have to enable it using at the rate component scan annotation at the rate component scan annotation enabled explicitly using xml configuration or java configuration by default it will scan current package only if you are not providing this at the rate component scan anywhere at where if you are not scanning at the rate at where anywhere but, but okay if you are not providing any package name where is that java config to java config. if you are not providing anywhere by default it will looks for let's assume that you are not providing anywhere by default it will looks for current to package current to package it will always scan the current to package current package what is there do you have inside of any current package at the rate component classes are there please correspond do you have any at the rate component classes are there in current package no that is the reason you have to specify this package name you have to specify the package name understood or if you don't want the package name you know okay exactly what classes you can specify the classes also not only package base package classes also you can give one class you can give two class you can give n number of classes also you can give it's not only for only packages still if you want to improve your performance you know okay, exactly what are the classes of at the rate component you can give that component also here you can give here wider dot class comma pen dot class comma black ink dot class comma that's it now you can run your application now you can run your application still you can avoid means okay, instead of it will scan all this stuff it will scan only these classes only it will scan only these classes only if you know okay, exact class you will go for this one that's what i'm trying to say the syntax is at the rate component scan at the rate component scan you have base packages if you have only one package then you should go for com.cnotech if you have multiple packages if you want to scan open this curly braces 
inside of the curly braces no need fully qualified name okay anywhere okay you are okay, importing right it will take care how you should give here comma separating with you should give how many package with you can give you can give okay abc you can give okay xyz n number of packages you can give it will scan all the packages under their styled packages also same alternate component scan not base packages base package classes what is the class name any class name a class name b class name whatever If you want to go multiple, then a dot class comma b dot class comma and so on. depends upon the requirement you should use. Understood. In our project, in our project, com dot st dot com dot st dot spring dot com dot st dot st dot com dot spring spring dot beans beans we should go for beans here we are using here okay, inside of the beans we have classes like c1 we have classes like c2 and so on all we have classes inside of the beans i have again okay sub package i have again okay sub package this sub package is maybe a core okay okay inside of the core we have c3 we have c4 Okay, inside of this C4, we have one more sub package. That's that sub package is called core. Okay, util. Okay, something here. Okay, inside of this util, you should go C5. Let's see how it is my project structure. Here my palm dot XML. Now let's start. Suppose your base package is equal to com dot st dot spring. Can anyone tell what are the classes? Let's assume that all are component classes. What are the classes would be scanned? Can anyone tell me, team? Can anyone? My base package is equal to com dot st dot spring. What are the classes who would be scanned? Can anyone tell? Can anyone? 
all uh, okay new one team all classes all classes good so means it is i am giving here my root if i am giving here root means c1 c2 c3 c4 root and its child classes all it would be available all it would be available team please try to understand so now if i okay depends upon the requirement if i give base package is equal to com dot st dot core what is the output team what is the output team can anyone explain what is the output what is the output team core and all its yeah output uh, c4 c5 c6 c4 c5 c6 that's it yeah good if i will give only beans and hope you you understood so this is what you know during your application startup what component scan you will be provided so based on the package name or class name the corresponding you know child classes it will scan it it will create the object it will apply the dependency injection also mahesh are we clear now shall we close this component story team shall we stop this component story so last one team people are asking see what is this annotation team if you go for this configuration this is also component only it is also component only everything is component but what is mean by target type first one is a retention means either this is required at compile time or okay required at run time if the annotation job is at compile time here okay retention policy at compile time if annotation is at run time it is at okay run time so it tells you the scope of the annotation what is your scope is your scope is at compile time as your scope is at run time what is your scope retention annotation is to tell you scope of the annotation this annotation would be required at compile time this annotation would be required at run time what is the target hey this annotation where you should use only class level or only method level or field level if you see bean right if you see bean it is at method level target is this annotation you can use at method level annotation you can use any other annotation type but it will be used at run time try to understand this source code of your spring annotation team at the rate target is used at the rate target is used so very that method can be used at class level or method level or field level or constructor level or other annotation level at the rate retention is used for what is the scope is this annotation is used at compile time or is this annotation used at okay run time most of the spring annotations are at run time only understand team yeah no oh, oh. okay next one team what is next one as you told auto wire we are we are able to use auto wire for at you know field level injection constructor injection and all okay right 
so field level injection auto wire field level injection injection is not recommended because one we can't write unit testing unit testing unit testing as dependencies hidden we don't know exactly what dependencies would be next one we can't write more conditions on if it is field level field level internally will use a reflections okay internally will use okay reflections now next one if the class does not have at the rate component still we can still we can use at the rate component scan it at the rate bean comma xml config means your beans that is that is at the rate component scan will work with the at the rate bean comma xml config means at the rate bean at the rate bean comma xml configurations at the rate bean comma of okay, xml configurations xml configurations at the rate component scan will work with at the rate bean comma xml configurations understood team okay depends upon the requirement we may mix up of configurations okay so okay sometimes you are spring jdbc data source comma jdbc template okay jdbc template rest template and so on etc does not have at the rate component that is we should go with at the rate bean only we should go with at the rate bean annotation only we should go ahead with at the rate bean annotation only last summary in real time in real time we should in real time all the below combinations we should use below combination means a one is only xml config b you may use xml with java config c you may use java config with auto wire don't know all we should use team okay if you understand spring boot the story will be different spring boot will not required all everything will be taken care by your spring boot only anyhow okay that will discuss later now we are good team everything is good now any questions now last one team at the rate lazy annotation this annotation is used to create the object when 
first request will come then first request will come means instead of okay instead of scan and create the objects during startup during startup during startup what the date lazy means lazy no need to this annotation is used no need to you know no need to stop uh, you know no need to uh, start during startup of your bean i want uh, i want at runtime and never i want whenever i need then only on demand i want my bean on demand i want the bean then only i should use this then only i should use this team now just i want to give one summary team this summary would be helpful to you what is that summary summary means no xml java config auto wire how many use cases six use cases use case one use case two use case three four five three one two three four five six you can use only xmlt You can use only XML. You can use only Java config. You can use only auto wire. No, you cannot use only auto wire. That is not possible. Why auto wire is required? Either uh, Java config, auto wire is required, either XML config. Otherwise, how the component scan will work? Auto wire, the combination with either XML, the combination with either Java config is mandatory. You can integrate with XML with the XML. You can work with XML. You can work with, you can integrate it with XML with okay, Java config. You can work with XML, you can work with Java config, you can work with auto wire, all that's it. So if you want just to note team, note. If we want migrate, we want migrate. If you want to Okay, if you use a okay, okay, XML, XML, then easily migrate to other projects. If you use a okay, XML, then easily migrate to other projects. It is just like replace, replace xml config with other config point number two if you use java config or auto wire then If you use Java config or auto wire, then 
difficult difficult to migrate from java to other flow other framework because you you, you need to write so much of code understood now with this can we put full stop okay xml java config and all understood team everyone the last one team people are asking maybe five minutes i may spend time and you should use primary and you should use primary team i would explain lazy team and you should use primary it, it gives them priority to one bean than other bean steam this annotation it will give priority to one bean than one bean than another beans another beans we can't we can't use primary primary more than one bean we can't use primary more than one bean one bean that is it's kind of that is it's like switch statement if you are not specified anything default be it will give that is the way understood team so if you are not sure what is the if you are not sure if if you are not sure what is the default then don't use other rate primary annotation okay what is other rate qualifier What is other rate qualifier? Other rate qualifier is used. It is used dependency injection as by name. By name. By type means class name. By name means a okay, reference name. It is used to setting name or alias name to bean alias name to pin based on qualifier it will execute corresponding backend system t i will draw one simple diagram i will draw one simple diagram please be on mute i will draw one simple diagram team in real time what happened you know i have a one i have a one card info i have a one card controller Just try to understand the card may be a credit card service card may be a debit card i have a one card controller team card service team 
service will have n number of implementations why in your real time you should write interface and impl means this is the purpose credit card debit card maybe green card it will talk to credit card dao debit card dao green card dao it will talk to this database this database this database game starts now card info controller card service credit card service card service and MPL card service and MPL Debit card service AMPL. Green card service AMPL. Now, whenever request will come in controller, what happened? You know, now the card info controller code is there at the rate auto wire at the rate qualifier. If the qualifier is CC, call, 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 card, call, credit card. Service IMPO If it is debit card, if it is green card. what happened whoever is calling this controller that guy has the responsible card number whatever your work request card number comma cvv number and all along with this card type cc DC, GC, whatever it. Based on this card type, whatever qualifier will do. 
your qualifier as the responsible to call any one of them not all so 100 request may come to credit card 100 request may use debit cards 100 request may use green card the corresponding back end in system your qualifier what it will do it will which qualifying object it will route the request to the corresponding object so that that flow will be executed Understood team, this is the use case how how we should use based on the qualifier, it will execute it, correspond to the backend systems. Are you clear team? When you should go for qualifier, when you should go for bean. Team, are you clear or not? Or any questions, team? Everyone team, others, others team, all are clear now. Good team. Okay, next one team. So now all are good now. Now day two. real time scenario uh, sir when i don't want to fee of the classes during during start time look i don't want to create fee of the classes during start time sir if you don't want to create fee of the classes during start time at this time we should go for at this time we should go for lazy sir at this time we should go for lazy recently we have used uh, one of the one of the in our production in our production we are getting some issue uh, during startup only your app server could not find few of the classes I would explain, sir. So, by default, it is uh, startup wallet will be in, laid in multi in threading or during more number of requests to one class, even though it is not required at uh, compile time, but still we are loading during startup only. What we did on top of uh, the bean, we are using lazy. On top of the bean, we are using lazy actually. If you use lazy, right? What are the advantages with lazy? Lazy on, you should use on bean method. If lazy annotation present on bean method, spring initializes the bean. If spring initializes the bean. Only whenever a request will come. Spring initializes the bean only whenever a request will come to you. If you want, let I can I can explain one simple code on this lazy team if you want i could explain one simple code on this lazy this has introduced in uh, spring 3.0 version okay sir okay, let me okay, explain let me explain one simple code you can use in lazy on top of the okay let's see why we should i want to create one simple java config simple java config sir simple java config i want to create one second let me how to use and 
lazy POC. One second, sir. What use cases we should take? I'm, I'm thinking just. Uh, Where are these classes? Okay, let's see. We'll start one simple only. Okay, instead of uh, complex one, we'll go for existing examples and we'll start. I'm I'm creating one simple bean, sir. What is the simple bean? Java config setter or constructor, whatever it. Paste lazy java config lazy example lazy let's see where is this lazy this is the lazy annotation so if you are not using lazy what happened so if you are not using lazy what happened If you are not using this lazy what happened first of all i don't want to create this as these are all as a all as a all as a independent team i don't want to create any different beans bean 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 is okay all are as a independent no need any no need any dependency injections and all just to we want to test we want to test if you give just to at the rate component scan one second thing first we will use at the rate lazy at the rate lazy can be applied using at the rate lazy on huh? configuration class you can use team at the rate lazy you can use on top of the bean on top of the bean and also by default i want to explain this uh, during my scopes team because you will be understanding in scopes easily let me complete the scopes team because it will be mainly focus on scopes only default you are all your spring beans are scopes okay single done only but uh, how to stop default behavior i would explain to you okay Let's we'll stop uh, this one after scopes, right? I will explain okay everything to you, okay? Because uh, some scope knowledge is okay required to understand. Then you will get it easily. Then you will get it okay easily. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Let's see team. Then we'll start. Very very important topic is called. Very very important topic is called scopes team. Very very important topic is called scopes. Okay, let let's see how these scopes would be okay, helpful and all. We'll see practicality. Scopes day two will start after scopes. We'll see this lazy also team day two start. Very very okay, important topic team scopes spring scopes team spring scope what is mean by scope team very very important team very very important what is mean by scope I would say I would say scope is scope is i would say scope is 
scope means lifetime t lifetime sir primitive is easy only i could not then you have primitive in your okay, xml file okay instead of uh, properties you have okay you can give primitives also sir okay, it is okay easy only i could not cover not a problem i can okay i can explain one more example primitive also sir tarun okay at the end we'll see yeah now here see scope is lifetime scope is lifetime t okay, lifetime of the scope is lifetime what is mean by bean scope what is mean by bean scope is lifetime of a bean lifetime of a bean in the container lifetime of a bean in the container bean scope is lifetime of every very very important please concentrate okay lifetime of a bean in the container lifetime of a bean in the container team okay next one c when when a bean gets created by the container so when a bean gets created by container and when it gets destroyed 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 it okay when a bean gets created in the container and when it gets destroyed it is called bean scope it is called bean scope team it is called bean scope it is called bean scope team okay, next one okay, next one team what is next one how many scopes are there in spring types of scopes in spring team we have n number of we have around six scopes are there in spring one is singleton another one is prototype another one is request another one is session another one is global another one is application we will not talk about this three these three are used for to develop uh, okay web application like, like mvc based applications globally is used for to develop some portlet applications our goal is only to okay discuss about our goal is only to okay, discuss about uh, discuss about team what is request and single singleton and prototype these two only we are going to use t these two only we are going to use t okay now because spring core scopes are only these two because spring core scopes are only these two hope clear everyone now first one is what is singleton t what is singleton singleton beans will be created whenever your container during startup singleton will stay in the container until it gets destroyed until it gets destroyed team what is mean by singleton means only one object will be created singleton objects are only one object okay if you want to use a singleton whole application only one object it will be created it is called a singleton it is called a singleton means please very very important thing what is mean by a singleton what is mean by singleton only one object only one object only one object for whole application for whole 
okay, applications. Okay, only one object for multiple requests. Only one object for multiple request is called singleton. Singleton is different. Spring singleton is different. Java singleton is different. It is for at container level. It is called at container level. Spring singleton scope is not same as single design pattern. Okay. That of okay, design pattern is different. This is a okay, design pattern is different. It, this scope is one object per container per bean of okay, definition. It is called singleton here. One object per container per bean definition. Very, very important. Don't confuse. No singleton. Singleton. Beans. Will be created. Created. When you are container. Created. When you are container. Created. During. Container startup and and destroyed and okay, destroyed and okay, destroyed. Okay, it will be okay, destroyed. During startup and it will stay in container until until it gets destroyed until it gets container destroyed team please concentrate very 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 okay important i would say here singleton scope is equal container live i would say until your container is there, then only your okay, singleton scope is there. Singleton scope is not same as Java singleton design pattern. That is, that is your Java design pattern will be only one object for whole application here one container java and singleton design pattern is used for is used only one object only one object for whole application only one object for all application only one object for all application that means now here see here i have b id abc class is equal to abc let's assume that here whenever this statement it will be executed Whenever this statement it will be executed per bean definition only only one object will be created now if you give sir session no it will not say it sir so it will not share sorry now bean id abc1 class is equal abc now what happened here now what happened here 
please try to understand a new object will be created per bin definition if you take some configuration it will create a another object it it will create a another object okay with new id with new id means in your container means what happened it is a single done please try to understand if it is your container now here what happened here one object will be created here another object would be created one object is abc another object is abc1 another object is okay abc1 so two objects would be created in it's not like whole application one bean that's wrong one bean one object for one container please concentrate now if it is no if it is what is mean by prototype type i will explain examples practically okay you will be able to know prototype multiple objects per bean definition per container multiple objects per bean definition per container whenever there is a need for the bean whenever there is a need for this bean a new object will be created it's like uh, you know it's like you jantro whenever okay it's like okay it's like you jantro you jantro object if need create object and if need create the object okay it's like okay you can throw now spring container always holds references references singleton beans which it has created as as it is reused using that okay reference using that reference hope you know that now what about prototype spring container does not please concentrate does not hold any reference of the prototype which it has created once object is completed of the prototype b then it will go to the garbage collector by the jvm once object is completed of prototype then it will get gc garbage collection by the jvm it will get garbage collector by the jvm so now the biggest question is when to use singleton when to use prototype is very very important 
bean scopes when application run in multi threading environment especially bean scope is very very important say by default note if you are not specified any scope by default by default all the spring beans are singleton by default all your beans are singleton scope by default all the beans are singleton understood sir now please concentrate by default all the beans are singleton no very very important now oh, here see I will show you practically if it is singleton how can i i can i prove it is either you will use a okay, xml if it is a okay, xml in xml config okay, how to use bean id blacking class com dot st dot blacking scope if you are not specified by default it is singleton or else you can specify if you want to specify here you should specify here prototype if it is java config you should use there is a annotation is called other rate scope here you need to specify specify the scope either singleton or prototype if you will not declare then default scope is singleton only default scope is singleton only understood how can we specify here if it is a okay, xml go to resource spring config if you will not specify anything go for this one have you specified anywhere scope have you specified anywhere scope stream here no if you are not specified anywhere default every bean is a singleton default every bean is a singleton default every bean is a singleton you want to prove so now here see now we'll see where it is coming again and how to know whether it is a singleton or not system dot white dot print ln writer object is writer now run as java application see so only object okay hash code will come but same thing i would say one i will comment this for some time why do you need this is it same or not that means from that container it is getting same bean or not even you will try to get that bean 100 times
all are same or not but what i am what i want to do here intentionally i am trying to create one more bean it another one bean id not same another bean id or writer new bean id let's see team actually it is same but let's see you are trying to create new one Let's see team, please try to understand. But actual use case, we may discuss for one hour only on the scopes. Very, very important how the scopes will be used in multi threading environment. Where this really will be helpful. I will explain team how your Tomcat default threads are will be there. Please try to understand. Okay, I would explain okay, everything. Okay, now here see. Now run as this. Even though your object is singleton, but per bean only. Whenever you are creating new bean, it is new object or not? Please don't confuse in interviewer. Spring singleton is the same as your Java singleton. No, your spring singleton is one bean. Singleton beans will be created one object per container per bean definition. If new bean definition is there, another object will be created with the another one team are you following team everyone is okay or not team others abdul archana balu chaitanya any questions any doubts irfan jagadish krupavati others all fatima all clear Sir, are you getting, sir? Okay, now we'll see here. Now we'll see, team. Next one, we'll see. Now, please sir, try to understand. Try to understand. Try to understand. Okay, next one. Please try to understand. Okay, next one. So, even if you, this is okay, fine. Okay, everyone is fine. This one. Now, next one is. Okay, next one is team. Very very important. What is important stuff we are going to see now different use cases of this singleton and prototype different use cases what are the different gear first i will use it's a simple one i will use a simple one is i will use simple one this scope is equal to prototype now what happened i will go to okay xml XML. I will stop this one. No need. 
just for showing i'm explaining here go for writer scope is equal to proto type scope is equal to prototype now run this application observe here if the scope is equal to prototype every request is new new object or not every request is new object or not every request is new object or not i give by default by default your by default your by default your singleton objects are your spring beans are singleton if you make it as prototype then what it would be happened if you make it as pro prototype now here what it would be happened so yeah now here see if you give prototype type every object is its own hash code it is getting yes okay, every request is a new one here okay, every request is a new one here now see now actual game starts now what is actual game starts now means very very important team what is actual game starts here please try to understand when you should go for single turn when you should go for prototype first i will use this scope combinations scope combinations what is scope combinations number one i have a two class class a very very important please please you interviews are asking this class b i want inject class b into class a i want inject class b injected into class a that is class a is depending class a is depending on class b class a is okay depending on class b class a is okay depending on class b now that is now here see please try to understand here number one use case use case one both are single term use case one both are single term A and B are singleton objects. That means singleton injected to another singleton B. one singleton injected into another singleton now what happened case two i have two classes here a comma b are prototype one singleton no one prototype one prototype injected into 
one prototype injected into one prototype bean one singleton bean injected into another singleton bean one prototype bean injected into another prototype bean how it happens very very important in real time case 3 one singleton will be injected into a is injected into another prototype one singleton will be injected into another prototype a is prototype b is one singleton injected into one singleton injected one singleton bean bean in, injected to another prototype bean case 4 a is singleton b is here one prototype will be injected to injected to another singleton this four use cases we need to practice team very 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 important sometimes you know your dependent class will be inj injecting into you know sometimes your dependent classes will be inj injected into your dependent class no 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 what happened so at that time we should be very careful team i would give one one statement this statement why it is you will be able to know never injected shorter live would be into a longer live would be what is the difference i would explain to you never injected shorter live would be into a into a longer live would be in team longer live would be in your real time what happened actually real time how your project to flow in your real time your project to flow in your real time you will have controller you will have service you will have dao you will have this back end is database and all see when we should use when we should use singleton when we should use singleton and prototype and we should use singleton and prototype okay the questions are is your is your controllers are singleton or maybe here your controller is depending let's assume that here a is a controller b is a service how to do if a and b are singleton how your application will see if a and b are prototype how your application will see if a is a prototype and b is in singleton how it works 
if a is a single ton and b is a product type how it works one prototype being injected into another single ton how it works now you'll see all these things practicality did you get it team basic what is single ton what is prototype team single ton means one bean one bean single ton is not same for your java single ton design pattern java single ton design pattern is used for all your application only one object will be created our spring single ton will be used for one object per container per bean definition if you are trying to create in single container two bean definitions then we should go for it's not in single ton it's a two objects will be created for every bean definitions two object will be created for every bean definitions i have shown the practical example also we took also two here we took also two here understood sir here it depends upon the requirement we should use that all so it is a another one if you go for your here i have a two b in a definitions in my container if it is two b in a definitions means what happened for this one object will be created for this another object will be created if you are not specified default scope is a single ton if you are not specified default scope is a single ton but we need to see these combinations team what is these combinations so prototype means irrespective of this means always a new object will be created that new object already we have seen here if you use a single ton default is a single ton if you run see only one object but a new object new object also single ton but on this object it will be single ton not see on this object it is a single ton you can give writer new one writer new one writer new two writer new two you can give but it is all single ton on this bean definition it is another single ton object okay team done it is also done if you change your scope is equal to prototype irrespective of this always it will be but all this prototype objects will be created inside of the directly in jvm only singleton objects only will be created in jvm and references would be available in our container your singleton object scope is during your container live during your container startup those objects will be created if the container destroyed those objects also will be destroyed but prototype will be is on depends upon jvm let's see case one team i am splitting into four cases case one what is case one what is case one singleton injected into injected to another another singleton b singleton in injected to another singleton p another singleton p singleton will be in injected into another singleton b if you take this one if you take this one now we'll see a is 
singleton b is also singleton t so now now what happened one container only one object will be created one object for a and one object for bt one object for a and one object for bt now what happened even you will get it 100 request even you will get it 100 request a and b objects will be always only one thing very very important even you got 100 request for n number of request for n for n number of request objects will be only one thing objects will be only one for both a and b okay, it is clear team okay everyone this is clear everyone this is clear everyone now so case 2 team what is case 2 case 2 is both are prototype proton type injected to another prototype prototype injected to another prototype proton type injected to another prototype what happened here here a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 that means for request one for first request for first request in our request over one it will be happened here you got a1 here you got b1 for request 2 it would be happened whenever you got a request 2 here it is a2 means for every request a new object will be created b2 similarly when you got request 3 when you got request 3 now here what happened here you got a3 as well as b3t a3 as well as b3t means for every request here is only one in respect here is here a is a prototype and b is prototype here a is proton type and b also is prototype means for every request for every request a new object will be created for every request a new object will be created in for every request a new object will be 
create a deal for every request a new object will be created now case 3 case 3 singleton object singleton object injected to prototype singleton object injected to prototype singleton object injected to prototype here what is interested one please concentrate here what is interested one <clears throat> here you got a is prototype b is single term single term now what happened but a is prototype b is single term a is a prototype type and b is a single term please try to understand thing b is single term a is prototype that means for every request a is one new object will be created request one request one request two request three request 1 request 2 request 3 here is a1 here is a2 sorry here is a1 means for every request a new object will be created b sorry a2 a3 but whereas here always b is only one so whenever a required b this a will talk to b to get the data a will talk to b to get the data a will talk to b to get the data here a will talk to b to get the data here a1 will talk to b1 a2 will talk to b2 a3 will talk to b3 here since b is a singleton no problem always uh, here here b is a singleton no problem always you will get it same data to all these objects all these objects okay team here the, su the summary is here every request new a object will be created but b object is 
only once as it is singleton b object is only once as it is singleton understood team okay now clear now case 4 what is case 4 case 4 here somewhat interested prototype injected into singleton prototype injected into singleton that is a is a is singleton a is singleton and b is prototype A is singleton and B is prototype. Now here see. Please concentrate. Please concentrate. It is important. It is now here what happened? B prototype means every request. A new object will be created. It is B1, it is B2, it is B3. Here it is, it is singleton, right? Here it is A1. Now I got, let's assume that request 1, request 2, request 3. Request 1, request 2, request 3. Request 1, request 2. No request three. No request one. No request two. No request three. Request one, request two, two, request three. Now here see. But B will be injected or not? B will be injected into A. First request. Second request. Third request. Is it correct team? Are any questions here? Team, is it right team? Okay, everyone. Sir, until that container is available for every single request, same object, sir. If if container will be destroyed. Jagadish again new new object would be created. Team. The prototype objects, right? Yeah. See, case four. Yeah. Case four here. Prototype is B. 
generally what is the definition of prototype here what is the definition of the prototype here t definition of the prototype is definition of the okay every request a new object will be created here it is happening same here it is happening same or not every request new prototype okay every request new prototype every request new is it right team okay everyone okay is it right team please yeah okay everyone everyone please okay, is it correct or not case four team please okay respond yeah hundred percent it is not correct team the reason is see yeah 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 hundred percent it is not correct to you the reason is singleton objects are during your application startup only singleton beans are created during application startup singleton beans are created at the time only a will be injected into b so it will be injected same object it will be injected same object if it is not created again there is no chance of request is not coming to directly to your b, b right during during application during application startup during application startup during application startup singleton beans beans are created during application startup singleton beans are created during application startup singleton beans are created at the time only at the time only a will be injected to b at the time only a will be injected to b during application startup singleton beans are created during application startup singleton beans are created at the time only a will be injected b so it will injected so it will injected so it will injected it will injected same object if not created again if if a is not created again if a object is not created again very very important interviews question that's why never inject prototype into singleton never inject prototype into singleton never inject to proton type into singleton even though b is prototype but it behaves like singleton only even though b is a prototype but it behaves like singleton only singleton only even though p is prototype but it behaves singleton only it behaves singleton only any 
questions to the team here. Are you clear with the understanding and all or any questions team? That's why I gave one statement here. What is the question? Sir, in first user and submit any request with scope is singleton. It will hold all the data in the particular object and first user. Next, another second request to come. If you are using same object, it will be the problem. So how to handle? At that time, you can give A, A is a prototype, sir. See, if, if the request is varied from okay, every, every uh, you know, okay, the data will be varied from every request, go for prototype. If the data will be same for all the requests, go for a single turn. I will explain when you should go for single turn and when you should go for a prototype, I will explain. Please let me know if anything, okay, any clarifications are re required. Okay or not? That's why I give earlier statement here. Never injected short lived beans into longer lived beans. Now you came to know why we should use this. Now you came to know why we should use that one statement. Please go through that statement once. Never injected short lived into long lived object short lived means prototype okay every request a new prototype would be cre created that's why it is called short lived singleton is long lived you should not do it you should not do it now we'll see when you should go for singleton and when you should go for prototype team when you should go for singleton and when you should go for prototype team when you should go for singleton when you should go for prototype okay now here see When you use singleton and prototype. So if the if the application, if the class will not have any instance variable, then preferred. Singleton. Then preferred singleton. If the class will not have any instance variable, class that is class class does not hold any state. Class does not hold any state team. Class does not hold any state if the class does not hold any states happily go for happily go for singleton team happily go for singleton team understood team happily go for singleton Happily go for singleton. Any questions here? If the class will have, if the class will have, if the class will have any instance variables in the bracket holding state because this okay instance, then preferred because instance variable will be 
varied from object to object for every request this will be varied for every request this will be varied for every request it would be varied here okay now depends upon the requirement you should use team wherever you will see it depends upon the requirement you should see wherever you will see that you should prefer team now here okay interested one is interested one is where to use this now here this is the board scope team any questions on the scope you can ask any questions on the scope you can ask if you are clear then we'll discuss okay now where exactly we should use this lazy annotation see now first i will explain scopes practice then we'll go for depends upon the requirement stages we can't tell okay depends upon the requirement either we should go for a singleton or okay you should go for prototype okay depends upon the requirement you cannot tell okay exactly which one is you no know, where to use and all depends upon the requirement you should use it understood okay depends it is you can't tell okay, exactly are we clear now now here see okay next one team so we'll see one one practical use case yeah we'll see the scope using java config all our product type so at the rate scope configurable what are the singleton you have ink singleton pen singleton this is called prototype this is called prototype okay now we'll see how to print and all we'll see now ink singleton see now you'll see all the okay use cases we'll see in this example just to for how to use scope in our java config remaining code is everything is same remaining code nothing i'm going to disturb how to use i will go for our own language our own terminologies okay instead of this code whether you may or may not understand i will go for our own style sir what is our own style i am creating i am creating our own packages sir here how the our own packages so that you, you can understand easily com dot so you know tech our classes beans i am creating a class and i am creating b class b class c my a will have a one constructor a this will be called b b b b b this dot b is equal to b now here public void m1 public void m1 return float value or okay m1 okay now here see system dot out dot print ln a m1 method no go for this b team public void m2 
int i equal to 0 int t something whatever it return i plus 1 or return return what should i give first time is okay i value okay static value if i give every time it will execute the same value right okay return just i will give my only intention is only that local variable only it will be executed if it is instance variable yeah even if it is instance variable it will not be executed okay just will give an sop as of now bm2 method here it is void from a b dot m2 just ct i am writing my own java config here it is at the rate i don't want to at the rate in component as of now yeah you can use it's not a problem i want to scope right okay now go for my own configuration a configuration or scope configuration now what you should use at the rate configuration at the rate b public a a return a at the rate b public vb return b done now i am expecting here b b here b i am expecting here b b here b what is happening here return new b that's it why it is not happened here my b is injected via a to have here constructor yes b b is equal to okay return new a that's fine now we are good any questions team here any questions here team simple coding any questions team everyone i am i am asking if any questions team any questions team here simple coding team i am not writing any code at all any questions team now i am giving scope is equal to i'm giving scope is equal to why it is not configurable factory dot scope singleton configurable factory dot but when you go for a wherever you are creating b i'm trying to b object is b now here see now i am writing one test method a main class application context context is equal to new 
new annotation new annotation application context a config dot class context dot get bin of context dot get bin of context dot get bin of a A, 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 A dot M. Whenever the statement will be executed, flow will be go to where your A. Here I want to know how the A object and how the B object will be created. Here it is a single term system dot out dot print ln a is a no let's try to understand here now if i run this if i run this how to test time a is only one b at the rate but every request it is a new one right how to test every request it is a new one since it is a single until that a two double five e three zero until you close that uh, container same object will be written to same object will be written okay if it is single term now my question is my question is if a is if b is prototype or okay case 3 will see what is case 3 here case 2 is straight forward both are in same will come case 3 a is uh, prototype b is single term a is a prototype, B is a single turn. How to give A is a prototype? Now here see, now I am running. Earlier single turn means every time same. Now I am running. A prototype means A is always new one, B is always single turn a now two double five b is always can see with three only b is always a can see with three only b is always ends with three only a always will get new one because a is a prototype We'll stop and we'll run again thing. We'll close this container once. How to close? Context dot set down. Context dot application context context dot why oh it should come 
why it is not coming context dot shut down the container or close it if it is not come no problem what we'll do i will stop this we will start again run as mvn clean run as java application now we will see no it is not stopped this jvm is not shut down team how the container will be shut down application context dot one method will come shut down why it is not coming close method also will come application context dot shut down not here after you got everything after you got everything now one second team now my intention is how to shut down okay you can shut down with the help of here also it should come how to shut down your container it is their team you can close your application context close application context how to close application context that's what we have it this one clean context like this one second will it be work oh it is annotation context context mm -hmm. insert semicolon yeah now it is closing see actually this context of written type is we are a type casting team close method is there we are type casting this close method let's see a is i got the a reference and i got the b now it is closed right next time why a is always getting same a is prototype i give b is sorry a is i give single done what is third case a is prototype but, but my b is singleton or oh, reverse team a is a singleton here a is prototype yes correct only this one but b is singleton a always it will give new one and b always it will give same one if you go here I am trying to printing 
A is always you should get new one because it is a prototype. B is always it should get how to get their B directly you can get it B also directly you can get it this B one second team don't confuse where well, you should go there one second go to here configuration i am calling this bean team a go to a a is com dot synotech m1 method object is this 4b 9e why it is getting same every time because it is not a singleton it is a prototype go to a class did i write here constructor during constructor only while it was executing one second team go for our own style here writer is an here writer is an I'm just I am I am using here prototype team in this prototype fountain is an singleton pen is an prototype black ink also is an singleton team only writer is a prototype type let's see it is a use case of this one oh i am not calling any new request right that's the problem here in a i am passing always the same request that's why it is giving same if you are sending different request you will get a okay, different uh, hash code that is what i did here so now what i am doing I am passing one. Now, again, I am trying to call this bean. Means two two request I am calling. Earlier I am calling same this one only. Now, I would call one more request. Means three request I am calling to whom? This writer. If you are calling multiple requests to this writer, okay, I would ask here only team why I should again. I don't want switch here only. I understood the problem. Always you are calling only one. You should call this A only a, 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 a number of times. Call A, call A, call A. One time, two time, three time. Call A, call A. A1, A2, A, A3. A1 is, A2 is, A3 is. A1 is, A2 is, A3 is. Now, run as. See because of a is a prototype every request it will be new one but b is always only one b is always only one team did you understand team 
even if you want to create here also b a n number of times you can write b is always only one where you are printing see for every you can call for every you can call a dot m1 a1 dot please try to understand if any doubt you can ask a2 dot m1 a3 dot m1 please okay try to understand you are since it is a prototype for every request a will be created as a new one but you call n number of times it is a for every request it will be new but for every request b it should return same value run same value please if you are not understanding please ask me i am calling i am sending four request for four request because it is a prototype four request every request a would be new new hash code but whenever you call okay m1 m1 is calling internally it, it returns the b but b is always same because b is the singleton that how many requests are there that many a request that many b request but a will be varied for every request but b would be same for all the request team understood team team are you clear or not case 3 clear okay everyone case 3 clear case 4 is interested one now what is interested one case 4 is interested one good what is case 4 you know please concentrate what is case 4 you know reverse it is singleton it is prototype generally what happened a would be only one but b would get many because it is a prototype now see here A is singleton, B is prototype. But see, A also same object, B also is same object. If A is a singleton, even you will call one lakh time also, B also is getting a singleton only during first time your application startup only. During first time your application startup only, your A object will be injected into B object. Even if you will give unlock request, but even though B is a prototype, but B is here acting as a singleton. Sir, are you clear, sir? Sir, everyone, sir, are you clear, everyone? Everyone, now you got it right. No confusions, right? All, all, everyone. No, no confusions, right? Yeah. Yeah, good team. Now here, see. Now, no small question is. forgot about singleton and prototype now we are scopes are clear now are we clear the scopes now we have seen all the scopes team hope you are clear everyone scopes and to use singleton we went to use prototype all clear now now we should go for all clear right team okay everyone yeah now now we should go for lazy annotation team lazy annotation 
spring lazy annotation indicates that spring lazy annotation indicates that indicates that a bean will be initialized a bean will be lazily initialized a bean will be lazily initialized the lazy annotation can be can be annotated can be annotated with other rate component annotated with class level comma method level that means a at the rate component at the rate configuration you can add at the rate component at the rate configuration with use at the rate lazy annotation b at the rate b use at the rate lazy at method level at class level at method level see the default scope bean is singleton generally singleton beans are pre initialized during your application startup only way to to discover the errors to discover the errors errors in the if any of errors in the configuration and or if errors in the configuration fourth one to initialize if you don't want to to initialize a b lazily we can use at the rate lazy annotation in java config you can use at the rate lazy annotation in java config or use lazy init attribute attribute in on the bean element bean element in xml configuration in xml configuration based application fifth one Understood team. Sometimes if if we want if you want early okay, initialize early initialize with at the rate lazy annotation then then use at the rate lazy 
the rate lazy value is equal to false use at the rate lazy value is equal to false please concentrate team hope you are able to understand lazy initialization means lazy initialization of bean means a bean will not initialize until reference are called by another bean b b explicitly calling b explicitly explicitly called called that bean from application context from application context from application context now sixth one i i already told lazy annotation is present on the class level means at the rate configuration bean level means method level at the rate lazy annotation can be also used with at the rate auto wired understood at the rate auto wired this annotation is introduced in spring 3.0 that's it team almost all all we, we, we did now 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 you want to see what is the proof here go here same example i'm going to take not any new examples and in here scope is not a matter maybe both scopes are singleton remove the scope if you remove the scopes default what happened default it will take as a singleton only go for here yeah go for here i have a one simple constructor public a dot print ln a class a constructor B constructor no forgot about all our goal is not Our goal is not okay. If you want to later, I can share this one. Like you may you may expecting practice right later. Our goal is not scope. Our goal is go for this A. A will be calling this B during our startup only. A and B objects are created even you don't need to call any of these methods also method c is calling okay m1 right no need for this if you start our application if our okay if you start your application during startup only 
during startup only your objects will be created go to here main b constructor got created why a constructor is not created why a constructor is not created a constructor also it would be called not called means it should be called i should give maybe this A also it should be called sir i don't need this okay, dependency injections also to be frank here our our case is for what how to load these beans i don't need this okay, dependency injection i want to take one simple classes how to use it here that's it now i have a a that's fine go for here if you start run see a and b are created go for a to be frank no need for this also no need for this during your, your application startup scopes are singleton a and b are created now go for b i want this go for your configuration i want to give this scope as a lazy now here see go for this one run as see only a constructor only created not creating the b when you will create the b in our either first request will be either you should called by this one whenever you called this one then only b will be created then only b will be created whenever you called request get context dot get bin then it will go for your container start looking for this b of the class is uh, this one then only your okay your spring will try to create the object until until you will send a request spring will not created whereas here if it is uh, singleton means by default during startup your container only all singleton objects will be created run as java application see okay or not okay or not team team please concentrate i don't want to give lazy at here i want to give at class level you can give who is stopping so both are lazy initialization but here you called only one have you called a here no at the time a will not come a should not come only b only will come why during startup you give a you give all are lazy if all are lazy means whenever you will send a request then only these objects will be created until that these objects will not be created now if you give here aa it should be created just you are calling now now run as java application understood the requirement team understood the requirement team
टीम आर यू क्लियर विथ लेजी वन एवरी वन टीम प्लीज लेट मी नो इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू फॉलोइंग ओके लेट मी नो आई वुड एक्सप्लेन लेजी मीन फॉर वाट ड्यूरिंग यू नो ड्यूरिंग स्टार्टअप इंसलेशन ई वॉन्ट क्रिएट मई ओन यू नो ई वॉन्ट क्रिएटेड एन एवर ई वॉन्ट अट दाइम हाउ टू ओवर रईड डीफाट बिहेवियर आफ दि युवर स्प्रिंग हाउ टू ओवर रईड डीफाट बिहेवियर आफ दि युवर स्प्रिंग देन ओनली वी शुड गो फॉर दिस लेजी वन उटोर don't use here don't use here if your a class is component b class also is component okay now go for here how to scan by default if you are not specified you no need to specify any base package default one it will take which one this one means here these two are available already so if you are not specified in lazy what happened during startup only it will take because these are the single turn i got it i want to give my b class as a lazy now you will run it only a only will come b will not come when b b will come either b will be injected by others or b itself is called by your application context then only both will come understood sir we have implemented at the rate configuration global level we have implemented bean level we have implemented component level if it is a okay, xml means you should use i have given that also so sometimes by mistake i give lazy i don't want uh, this lazy or initialize by mistake i give lazy if you give lazy means it won't call both only a constructor would be called because a is not lazy but unfortunately by mistake i give this lazy no value is equal to false a please don't consider this lazy here okay see both are okay team you can we can play like r and d like anything team all these things all these things you are going to implement in our project team if you are strong on this core you can play games like anything team let's will go for other stuff team okay then yeah fine yeah good team now we are clear with this scopes and lazy annotations also now next example is very very okay interesting one is till 15 we are clear 14 scopes how to next example is how to read the properties values very very important use case thing next one how to load the properties values how to load the properties files and get the values from 
properties file in Spring. How to load the properties files? How to load the properties files? And get the and get the values from properties files in Spring Team. In Spring. So generally, generally, how to load the properties file? I have a properties file team. Let's assume that sample dot properties file. How to load now? You need to write Java dot util dot in util. There is a code is called properties code. Okay, P is equal to new properties file something. How to write the code P dot load of sample dot properties file something I am giving. Whenever the statement would be executed, what happened? You know, it will load the properties file object. It will load the properties file object. It will create the properties file object. And you know how to get the value string, string name, string properties name. String generally will be storing username and password. Get, get property of your sample dot properties file. Username is equal to Srinu. Password is equal to welcome one two three or what? Once you will load the properties file, you got the properties file object p dot get property. Now string password p dot get property of password get the property of password team. common requirement in every real time project how to load the properties file team you have to be very clear how to load this properties file team you have to be very clear how to load this properties file team Understood? No. Now here see, instead of you will do all this code, instead of you will do all this code, Spring guys is given one annotation. So how to load? Okay, okay instead of you will write all this code, instead of you will write all this code, only one annotation that annotation will take care to load the properties file to load the properties file what is the annotation means at the rate property source you need to provide class path where is your properties file location if it is available in the resources only either you should give here absolute path or you should give here a relative path file path either you should give here absolute path or you should give here relative path You should give here absolute path or you should give here a relative path. This annotation is usual to load the properties file. This annotation is usual to load the properties file. Once you will load the properties file, 
once it will load the properties file then what will be happened once it will load the properties file then what will be happened how to read the read the values from properties file read the values from the properties file one using environment object which is provided by the spring using environment class object this is provided by spring using environment using environment class object using environment class object this is provided by spring next one using at the rate value annotations using at the rate value annotation using environment class object this is provided by spring next one using at the rate value annotation using at the rate value annotation using at the rate value annotation understood team so how to use now we'll see practicality just environment object generally properties file will have your database details or all configuration information will be available till now in the, this example if you see our last black ink here we are hard coding values now instead of hard codings now we are reading from where these values from properties file okay instead of hard coding now we are reading these values from where properties file how to read these values from properties file is okay, important how to read these values from the properties file is very very important now understood team very very important so okay instead of hard coding these values okay, instead of hard coding these values now we are trying to now we are trying to get these values from the properties file get these values from the properties file get these values from the properties file understood team no vrc no vrc very very important next one it is a properties one i want to go for remaining code is same what is the code at the rate property source annotation it will always looks for class path means in your project how many jars are there in your project how many jars are there it will go to all these jars it will go to all these jars it will go to all these jars it will try to get the it will try to get the you know properties file from the class path it will try to get the properties file from the class path understood team try to get from the class path how to use how to once it is loaded whenever this statement it will be executed whenever that statement will be executed spring core scopes okay
whenever this statement will be executed a properties file object will be created inside of your container inside of your container a properties file object will be created what are the values are there these values will be there these values would be created once it is happened right in your spring there is a class is called environment class this environment class is extends property resolver which will be again okay. see interface resolving properties again underlying what this environment class it will do see property sources resolver it implements the resolves the properties values again a standard line set so this environment object during your application startup only these environments would be available environment aware interface will take care to create all the predefined required object that means this environment object is available uh, one of the implementation class of this environment co configurable environment one of the implementation class of this environment understood right abstract environment and all this class will take care this class will take care to load the to load the properties file and it will give the object to the environment object that's why environment object somehow it is available in our container how to get this object using at the rate auto wire using at the rate auto wire so now see class is 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 configured as bean bean in spring container this would happen during during application start this would happen during application start this would happen environment class is configured as a bean in spring container this would happen during application startup this would happen during application startup okay now next one how to get this how to get the value from the container using at the rate how to inject the bean how to inject get the bean okay at the rate at the rate. now once you got environment object what you will do environment dot get property of my properties file environment dot get property of first one environment dot get property of second one okay now you will give like this whenever you will give this it will read automatically the values
so it will lo lo load the properties file and refer this properties file with environment environment that's it that means that's it any questions team here now let's see how to load these values and all we'll show you practically if i run this my application remaining code is as it is here my okay, example is how to load the properties file based on the environment okay that's it instead of now you will get hard code values in our bean now you will get dynamic values now you will get okay, dynamic values okay, instead of hard code values now you will get dynamic value understand team now if i run this now see remaining code it would be same run as java application now you got the values from this see writing black from properties file ink of parker from properties writing black from properties file ink of black from the properties file you understood team if i change anything in my properties file go to my properties file if i would change anything properties file just to start start let's see without okay, disturbing my code now you can run run as java application see now you got it or not just how to load the properties file how to load the properties file means at the rate property source at the rate property source is the annotation this annotation will load the properties file once it will be in load the properties file then what happened using at the okay, environment class object we can get the values from the get the values from the you know your uh, okay properties file object and give to your application are you clear team now this is one way another way is load the properties file using java config value annotation one is this one another one is you have to use directly in your code at the rate value question mark dollar braces black ink dot brand that's it at the rate value black ink dot color that's it no need to provide any environment no need to provide any environment just you have to give this one you have to give this one your spring will take care your spring will take care this no at the rate property annotation just you should have at the rate property source it is a source whenever you got this this will be 
this load your properties file into your spring container load your properties file into your spring container once load using at the rate value once load using at the rate value using at the rate value you can get those values from the properties file using at the rate value you can get those values from the properties file now how this how this value would work who will okay who will okay, recognize how this value will be scanned you you have to provide you have to provide see at the rate value will come as this at the rate value is used to to inject the properties file at the rate value is is, is used to to inject the values from the properties file okay inject the values from the properties file so you you no need to write any code here just you will write this at the rate value annotation that annotation will take care how to get the annotation will take care how to get the values from the properties file automatically how to get the values from the properties file automatically you no need to write any code here understood team now go to here but you should remember only one thing whenever you are using the value you should load at the rate property source place folder configure this class is the responsible for to scan your at the rate value annotation and it will able to uh, you know okay, recognize your at the rate value annotation otherwise we, we would get an error stream okay see wherever you are going to use at the rate value at the rate value at the rate value at the rate value understood now you are writing here that's it at the rate property source is used to to load the properties file into memory at the rate value annotation is used to get the values from the properties file summary one at the rate property source annotation is used load the property files to get the values from the properties file object either using environment object or the rate value annotation value annotation class will will recognize the the rate value notation 
got a team or any questions team got a team or any questions team hope it clear everyone now now we'll see go to here simple go to here runner application context new annotation only because we are using annotation one second this is what data team any questions here at the right value under environment wherever you want you can use this Understood team. Hope you are clear everyone. How to use other data value annotation. Just to wherever you want. You can configure in your XML and our Java config. Just to come to your code and you can use it. Let's assume that. In your spring, don't have any properties. Brand is equal to ABCD. Default value you are trying to give. ABCD means default value we are trying to give. Here you gave default value. Again, your properties file value is there. Which value will be executed? Can anyone tell? Here, what is the intention of this? Default value means, yeah, default value means, hey, if I am giving anything, means my intention is. If any value will be given from external, don't take it. Always take my default value only. That's what the, that okay, intention. Now, can you tell default value which will be executed or properties file value will be executed? Yes. Now, properties file value will be executed. Default properties file will be override with the properties file. See. See, always it will go here. Properties file only. If you remove this value, in properties file comments are, if you remove this value, let's see. Run as. Now it will take. ABC is the brand or not? If you remove this value, now you got ABC is the brand. If you are not removed, what happened? Always your properties file will be override. Always your properties file will be override default properties. Default properties. Always it will execute it. The priority will give the properties files only. Now if you see now, let's assume that here default also is not there default not there in our properties file that entry also is not there entry also is comment now still i am trying to access i am trying to get for what that value from the properties file now now what is the output team now what is the output you will get an error error is saying that value is not found this string value is not found so now using other rate value so what is the next value 
we can set default default value of property keys in at the rate value annotation at the rate value annotation in at the rate value annotation Okay. Here property key default value A. If the if the property key is not found the property key is not found in in properties file then it will get default value b if both if the if the property key is present in properties file and default value then always always will all, all always will give will give property file only property file key value only now see see if the property key is not found in properties file and also is 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 not found in properties file and also default value not provided then it will throw an error saying that saying that could not resolve the placeholder illegal argument exception could not resolve the placeholder understood sir that's it team same like you can go for okay, xml only same like you can go for okay, xml see go for a xml code is same i am not going to write anything code how to load how you are going to give value xml black ink constructor argument brand name dollar of this one dollar of this one how to load the properties file property placeholder configurer class path sample properties whenever the statement it will be executed what happened properties file object would be created properties file object would be created now this properties file object will be hold what all the entries hold for all the okay, entries team understood these entries would be added into where here you can get this values from here see see here if it is a okay, if it is a okay, xml right how to read the xml application context context is equal 
new class path xml application context run as java application that's it team hope did you get it here see got a team from here so either you can go for xml you can go for java config properties only okay xml auto wire team how this auto wire will be using not using anywhere this bin see that's what i am what are the component classes all the predefined class all the user defined classes you can write component but this class we cannot write in component because it is not written by us that's why if you want to load this what you will do give at the rate bean at the rate property source is, is usually to load this properties file next what you will do at the rate bean wherever it is required at the rate value you should use get the value and you will be injecting wherever you want see it here runner run as java application understood team okay okay everyone now shall we discuss what annotation we have used till now what are the spring core annot annotations team One is don't tell by head answers team. I want one by one how to use this spring core. We have executed very clearly how to use this spring core team. At the rate configuration, at the rate bean. Uh, next one after at the rate bean. How to replace this bean at the rate component how the component would be happened you should explain very meaningful component will be identified using at the rate component scan how to get this component to beans using at the rate auto wire next one how to inject your xml config with java config at the rate import hmm. resource how to inject your java config with java config you should go for this next one how to okay scope declaring as a scope annotation next one at the rate lazy good next one at the rate yeah we forgot to conflicts primary we forgot qualifier next one how the property source next one how the at the rate value annotation understand team how we have explained all this stuff team are you clear till now okay no okay till now we are clear team all are clear right now next important one team before that one of our friend has asked that how to load the primitives how to load the primitives that anyhow will tell one of example on primitives okay, it would be good to team how to load the primitives one of our friend was asking it would be good easy only but anyhow we covered okay that one only right why we should uh, miss that primitivity 
yeah yeah all okay everything everything we'll see how to inject that he'll show you all yeah yeah first we will take one one simple use case team we'll take one simple use case new others maven project special case like 001 spring xml primitive group id is com dot tech artifact id is this one name is this one this is for primitives and collections so this example i am taking from here only this only this okay, xml file only i am taking here sir because writing typing all this is not good okay recommended i am taking this sir i am closing everything now go top now start writing one simple class then simple class may be employee or simple class may be a anything how you want you want uh, constructor we can go via constructor you want to get uh, you know um, setter you should go for setter it's all okay depends team how you want to go you can go and you will see better will go for one uh, one constructor now uh, one setter later we will go for same constructor also you have one class Com dot tech employee team employee simple team private int employee id private string employee name private string employee city alt sr alt a okay team now push team source generate push team okay team now here see i want to go for one employee spring test but here is important before going there before going there please try to understand I am removing this also. Employee com dot cnotech dot employee team. How to pass the primitive team? What is your Java bean name? EMP ID. You need to pass the here value. One, two, three. I'm closing the property. Like that, you should give how many values you should give. 
employee ID name. Same this B name, your property name should be same. This is city. Hyderabad. That's it. Now it is XML, right? Java config means EG team. How to write your core Java? That's it. Nothing is there like Java. Only look like XML, only look like difficult. Oh, I did not write any added the okay, dependency team. Application context. Context is equal to new. Class path because it is like XML. New class path XML application context. Give this file name. Context dot get bin of either you will give class name or you will give whatever it earlier we, we give only ID right now we should give class name no problem class System dot out dot to print L. Employee is team. Understood team? This is how to pass the primitives from your from your config. Java means easy team. You can prepare the object okay, inside of the config. Okay, you can prepare the object. Okay. XML is only how to pass this okay, XML. This suppose your employee object will have constructor team. Okay, your employee object will have constructor team. If it is constructor, now here if it is set property, you have names but constructor is somewhat of a different team see let's assume that i don't have this setter the problem with the xml see the problem with the xml even though you will not write properly if it is java okay it would give a error if it is okay okay if it is okay xml see Nothing will see if it is Java. If you are comment the successor, so it will give a error. Understood team. Now go for your XML. It is earlier this one team. How to apply comments in your XML? This one. Now you should pass the constructor argument but here you should not you can pass of index wise you can pass argument wise here i am passing my first argument is an integer what is the value employee id 111 
no need this okay xml comment how many are there this okay second one is string you can pass either type you can pass either index okay depends you can pass okay either one if it is a okay, xml run as creating bin with employee defined in the class path setting unsatisfied dependency injection constructor with index one of type is stringa where index one it is a, it, it, oh here no Okay. And as, let's see what is error. Unsatisfied dependency injection while creating employee defined in the class path resource setting chart as unsatisfied dependency injection argument index of one as string ambiguous constructor argument. Did you specify the Correct bean reference. It is asking, shall we give instead of type? We can give index also, index zero. Index one index 2 we can pass either type or we can pass name also you can pass team advantage with the constructor see you got the output first index is this or second index is this and the th third index is this one so you can pass either index you can pass either type you can pass another one type you can pass reference you cannot pass type you can pass what type it is earlier we have given it is an integer only right zero is an integer no it is a string to also is a string maybe ambiguity yeah, 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 I understood I understood yeah 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 here value I should pass this one team that is the problem. Why? No, we should pass this only. Index is working team. Employee of definition class path resource unsatisfied expressions to constructor index one one of type string. Do you need to give one second? Thing? Index one is the issue, small capital string. Let's see. Yeah, it was working team. I gave a small string earlier. That is the problem. If it is XML, if any mistakes are there until okay, deploy your okay, application, you cannot see team. Until okay, deploy your okay, application, you can't see team. 
understood team so we are able to see primitives with construction we are able to see primitives with primitives with this also team are we clear team or any questions team do you want to show this as a java also java is easy team java is just you can okay object dot okay, set set okay you will get it team okay but unfortunately why i could not explain means no one will use this uh okay okay xml that's why we are not focusing on more okay anyhow what is the wrong if you want we'll go for collections also with this same team and okay team okay any questions here collections means you should go for same with collections also nothing is okay wrong here how to use your java configurations using collections team using collections here let's assume that same employee only i have here you should go for string okay or string or whatever it let's assume that either you will go for constructor or you will go for just how to use this one because collections means only it will take as an object to team now here now here what happened let's assume that i have here list of strings i have here list of names i have here list i have here list of strings list of names i have everything team or you can take only one also for practice you can take only one not a problem we'll focus on only one not all how to do this java is easy alt sr alt a source generate to string unfortunately here right your b id is a okay, employee only team how to comment constructor 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 how to comment your xml done here it is a setter right property name is equal to employee okay employee already available property name is equal to employee id list name is equal to employee id inside of the property you have list right list team you have list is there you have set is there you have map is there everything is there okay depends upon the requirement you should give here value is equal to 111 Suppose your employee IDs may be a another one private set of string names team actually you should give a okay, different n n n names may be a list but 
IDs will not be a duplicate, always it would be same. Okay, depends team. You can go for maps also, whatever you want, you can go. Source, generate to stream. Go for here. Here you should give instead of list here. Set good. If you want to go, take one more property. Take one more property. Here it is and names. Names. You will give Srino. You will give tech. You will give Srino tech. Whatever it is. Done. Go to here. You are injecting team. You are injecting. Later you can inject map also. Who will stop you? Another one you should take that one as a map. Whatever you want to team. Map also is there. Map means for what? You will get key value both. I will show you that also. Let's see. But no one will use this very in rare industry will use. That's the reason. See, I'm not see. I got list. I got names also suppose you got here one more map now what you will do either you should go for generic map you should go for whatever it you should go for map employee city now you will give employee id and employee city how to go go to here it is a one more property this property name your b name should be same remember it is a map it's not a list of it's not a set it is a map how you will do map go ahead here entry two value will come key key is equal to your employee id 111 value is equal to city hyderabad i'm close this one like that how many you want you can write No problem done. Delhi. Bangalore. Go to here. Run as Java application. What is the issue here? while creating name with employee defined in the class path nested exception not invalid property employee in city of bean class employee city is not writable emp city property is emp city map map color okay What is the error? Let's see. Source generate to stream. Run as. Yes, earlier of shutters was not there. Now you got the map also where key value, key value, key value. Done team. I don't know who was asking. Are you clear team? 
Are we clear, team? Tharun, all. Okay, got it, team. No. Got it. Okay, next question, team. Next use case. Very, very important. Yeah. Till now, we have seen how to load the properties file. But now, next use case is how to load the properties file based on environment. Based on environment. Sir, you can use that bag also okay, instead of where group of okay, list of okay, list element is there. At the time, you can use for okay, bag also, sir. At the time, you can use for bag also, sir. Okay, depends upon the requirement, you should go. Okay, understood, sir. Okay, you can use for okay, bag also. Generally, bag and all, we should go for in you know, Hibernate, not for the in Spring Core. In you know, Hibernate, if you want to map your columns and all, you should go, but not in Spring Core collections team. Not in Spring Core collections. Okay, it is also okay, one of the elements, sir. In, in Spring Core, if you give class name, right, it will map. Okay, if you okay, represent uh, a class has list of object we can map the list by list or bag elements into the map file that is pure in hibernate not for the spring core team not for the spring core understood sir sir are you clear you can use either list or bag sir so List is always oh, okay, elements in okay, insertion order is preserved. Bag is not preserved. That's it. But no one will use this bag. Most of them will prefer for the list also. Okay, list only. If you want to specify order, so okay, list without specify order, then you should go for bag. Okay, okay you should go for bag. I think it came from JDK 1.7, uh, I think, if I'm not wrong. Am I right, sir? Okay. Now, here now. How to load the properties file based on the environment? Okay, very, very important. In, in real time, we will have different environments team environments are people also called as profiles profiles see in your real time your application developer has developed the application Okay, your application. Once you will deploy your application, what happened here now? Okay, next one. I would explain very simple way. Developer has developed the application, commit the code into Git repo. Here we have Jenkins is there. How do you real time use case team? Developer. Develop application code. Develop the application code. Commit the code into Git repo. What this Jenkins will do? Whenever you commit the code, what this Jenkins will do? Whenever you will 
commit the code jenkins will read the code from source code git repo generally it will jenkins internally will use maven maven comma jdk what it will do compile the code after compile the code okay, execute j unit very very important unit test cases in our real time project we will see all okay, execute the okay, unit test cases without unit test cases no project is there after that execute code quality how your code quality is there this also we will see in our project okay, okay next one after that execute sonar reports in our project we will see all if all okay build the jar if jar is okay using docker build the image once image is done push the image into docker hub or ec2 in in our aws if that is also is done if that is also is done then deploy image into a dev b test c uat so many environments we have Ninth one, if all okay, deploy into production. I would say in your real time, this process is called CA, continuous integration. I don't want to talk about all this now because it is not related to our core spring core. In our real time project, we will explain more. This process is called CD. So, whenever you once your CD right, how many environments you have? You have dev environment. Your application will be okay deployed into dev environment. Your application will be okay deployed into test. Your application will be okay deployed into UAT or I will not use UAT and all. I will use only prod. If your application would be okay deployed into dev environment. It is dev. If it is test, it is prod. You have database dev db, test db, and production db. We have dev database. We have test database we have prod database if your application will be deployed into dev it will read dev environment properties file to connect to dev environment properties file to connect to dev environment prop okay, dev environment db generally to connect to, to dev environment we need dev db url 
comma username comma password to connect test db here dev db is maybe dev dot of something and here of username is maybe srinu here you have password maybe to connect a test environment what you will do to connect production what you will do so here db is test db here db is broad understood how in your application you have different environment properties files are there every application you have sample dot properties file it is not any sample iphone dev environment dot properties file you have sample iphone Quotation okay. environment dot properties file very 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 important in your real time. Those who are working, they will know these values. Dot prod dot properties file. Very very important. So in dev environment properties file, what happened? Dev backend system configuration is there. Here dev backend system may be a app service may be a database dev backend configuration is there if it is test to db test to backend configuration is there if it is in production production backend configuration so in your real time and you deploy your application into dev environment when you deploy your application into dev environment it will be it will be connecting it will read the dev properties file get the dev related db url username and password it will connecting into dev db if you deploy your application into test environment it will read the test environment properties file it will connect to test db if you deploy into production, it will read the production based properties file connecting into prod db. Remember, without this use case, no project development is there. Doesn't matter. It is Java, .NET, PHP, SAP, ABC, XYZ. Without these profiles, without this environment, no project is there blindly you should trust me please you should trust me please you will see your company okay, anyone is okay working here team if anyone is here okay working okay yes mahesh have you seen this okay, environment profiles check this and all yeah yes yes so this okay profiles are mandatory team okay yeah good team yeah now we'll see now my question is how to in real time we will have different environments or profiles how to load the properties file based on the environment i would say in real time we will have different profiles how to identify how to find the environment based properties file sir i have okay, explained here in in earlier okay without spring what happened you know without spring what happened without spring what happened
configure profile name in in tomcat you need to configure I mean without spring configure profile name in the bracket like dev test or prod in in okay inside server configuration if it is catlina data properties file i would give environment is equal to dev in our code so during application startup all this all the values will be set to jvm how to set to jvm system dot set property environment i will show you practical everything devt like that it will set if it is test right in test server you will give this if it is prod right prod server you will give prod in our application our code application code how the application code is there string env is equal to system dot get property of env once it is done string file name is equal to what is my file name sample sample iphone plus environment name will come runtime if it is dev dev value will come if it is test okay test value will come if it is prod prod value will come plus dot properties file so at runtime this file name would come team whenever this file name would come what will do you know same code what is our previous code properties file is equal to new properties file you have to write all the code so you have to read this value from the manual you have to attach this from the manual so to overcome this what spring has given hey this is common this will be set to your jvm instead of you will read all this stuff manually spring has given there is a annotation is called at the rate profile at the rate profile at the rate profile annotation is used to get the value get the environment value from the jvm which was set during application startup understood company to company team but this would be same team in your project you have dev environment test comma uat comma production environment or prod how to load how to test how to test how to load environment based properties file so answer is using at the rate of profile annotation environment based properties file using at the rate of profile annotation 
using at the rate profile annotation steam using at the rate profile annotation okay now we'll see how it works and all now we'll see practically using at the rate profile annotations okay next one team okay next one if it is standalone application if it is standalone application if it is standalone application we have to set the environment using using the below options a using system dot set property environment comma dev or spring dot profiles dot active is equal to dev or test or whatever it if it is if it is a publication we have to set the environment at server level if it is tomcat every environment we have one server the tomcat is catalina iphone catalina dot properties file there you should give key value right env is equal to dev team if it is jboss think jboss the file is called server dot xml file here also you should give env is equal to dev something team okay how to get this value how to get the share whenever whenever we set the environment value during application startup it would be set to jvm team it will be set to dv jvm team it is a different one if you use docker if we use docker then set the environment name inside docker file that we'll see later okay whenever we set the environment value during application startup whenever we set the environment value during application startup it will set to, to jvm how to get the values from jvm how to get the values from jvm number one team system dot get property of system dot get property of environment here it is a environment sorry how you are setting here same option is one you can do it option two using profile using at the rate profile annotation this will use internally system dot get property annotation only this will use internally system dot get property annotation only this will use internally system dot get property annotation only annotation only 
Understood team, defense team. How you will be using defense. Okay, now clear. Okay team, now we'll see practically team, how it will be happened. Now we'll see practically how it works. Now let us go. Understood team, this value, understood. Hope you understood this. You will go our practice example. Now you will be able to know everything. See now. Please concentrate. Profiles. 20 example. First, how many properties we have? Dev property, QA property, and prod. Okay. Dev property. Just I want to show you if the properties file not directly under resource, if the properties file under another folder, how it happens. Different ways team you have. One is how many number of profiles is equal to number of configurations at the rate of profile dev it is auto wire right component scan this is required to read the value from the properties file qa right this one value is equal to qa see if the if the properties file is available in directly under resource if the properties file is available directly under resource, I am using class path colon sample iPhone QA dot properties file. If the properties file is available not under directly, if it is available under properties, if it is available under properties, then what happens? See, see here class path, remember. In real time, these kind of use cases will be there. At the time, you will go to the Google instead of struggling a lot. If you remember practice, when I should go for class path directly. If the properties file is available under resource, if the properties file is not available under resource, you should go for class path properties class sample iPhone prod dot properties file sample iphone prod dot properties file okay now please please okay try to understand please okay try to understand what we are okay, explaining okay the next one team what is next one now the remaining code is same code is i am reading the properties values how you are reading the properties value are you reading the properties value from dev environment? Are you reading the properties value from test environment? Are you reading the properties value from QA environment? While testing this application, developer has the responsibility how to, if it is a standalone application, how to test two ways. One is spring.profiles.active is equal to dev. Another one is system.set.environment is equal to this. okay now how to do this one spring dot environment is equal to this how it happens now we'll see practically team now we'll see practically how it happens okay now we'll see one second Okay, now see how to pass this profile is important. If you use this, what happened? You know, you must use get only. If you use this, what happened? You know, whenever you will use this, it will it will try to read all this configuration. It will try to read dev configuration. It will try to read QA configuration. It will try to read, but which value it will be match? It will be match either dev 
it will be match either QA, it will be match either prod the corresponding properties file would be loaded in. Corresponding properties file would be loading. Understood team? Corresponding properties file would be loaded team. How to do? Now here see. Run as MV install. Very, very important. Introduce are asking how to pass the environment variable. Answer is spring dot profiles dot active. This one you will be using legacy one. Legacy one means compulsory. You should get the system dot get property only. System dot get property only. If you will use spring dot profiles dot active, then other rate profile will take care. Internally, it will be using internally work, it will be using system dot get property value. If the property value will be match which config the corresponding config class it will be executed corresponding config class it will be executed understand sir no here see please try to understand go to this properties file qa dev prod go to this runner now here see if i am giving system dot set property spring profile active is equal to dev here see if i will run this run as java application it will load dev properties file team it will load dev properties if i load system dot set property qa then what happened during your application startup during your application startup during this application startup it will try to scan it will try to scan all the config classes it will try to scan all the config classes this where this QA would be match. At the rate of profile, this QA would be match this here. This QA would be match here. If this QA would be match here, this proper this configuration file would be loaded. This configuration file would be loaded this configuration file what is there black ink dot brand black ink dot color come look understand team this is what happened now here see now if i run this application run as It will load which properties file? QA properties file. Either you should pass from here or you should pass as you your JVM arguments. Either you should pass here or you should pass as in JVM argument. Now here see if I go here, QA. Now run as Java application. See, you got this production. In your real time, either you should be run here. 
if you will not do anything what happens see you will get an error see here what error no such bean named writer is defined no such bean named writer is defined if you are not configured of anything you you got the error like no such bean is that means now here okay okay what happened it could not be load your properties file because of because of this properties file could not load none of the configuration is not match none of the configuration is not match if none of the configuration is not match this component scan also will not be executed this component scan will not be executed so now what happened and never this component scan if okay if okay environment it would be executed okay so if none of the component scan will be executed if none of the component scan will be executed so now what happened component scan will not work so component scan will not work now here see okay that is the reason at least at least okay, it should be executed only one then only all the beans okay component scan will be executed team now here see either you will be set like this or let's see run as configuration okay environment spring dot profiles dot active is equal to do profiles play run see it will load dev properties either you should pass from system dot set property or you should pass spring dot profiles dot active is equal to dev team or you should pass spring does profiles dot of activity okay, understand team hope are you clear or any doubts okay team now we'll see now now another one is another one is team how to optimize do you need three configurations do you need in three configurations no how to combine this three into one configuration see okay at the rate okay profile okay at the rate profile is used to Okay, at the rate profile annotation is used at class level is used at method level is used at class level and is used at method level team how to use it at class level we have already seen how to use it at class level we have already seen now you should go for method level at the rate of profile now you should go for method level see okay instead of you will write all you should write at the rate of profile property sources placeholder is equal to new property sources placeholder configure 
placeholder dot set location you can give new class path sample iphone dev dot properties file it is new class path resource sample iphone qa dot properties file if you see here new class path sample slash properties file Slash property slash slash this one team because this is available in oh in this example it is like a directly is available no need to understood team if you are using at a class level okay if you are using at a class level a if if at the right profile will use at class level then number of number of profiles is equal number of profiles is equal number of configuration classes number of profiles is equal number of configuration classes if if further rate profile will use at method level then then number of then one configuration class then one configuration class which will have which will have which will have number of methods then one configuration class which will have then one configuration class which contains number of profiles is equal number of methods number of profiles is equal number of methods each method each method will take care to load to load each profile properties file each profile properties file understood team okay or not now you will see at the rate of profile you can use at class level or you can use at method level if you use at class level number of environments is equal to, i mean number of profiles is equal to that many classes config classes we should use if you use at if you use at method level then what happened you need to use all in one single config class you should write the code how to load the properties file property sources placeholder config is equal to new property places folder configure placeholder dot set location new class path resource it will be done if it is qa it will be done qa if it is a production it will be done for the broad team see i will show you practically here how to run the application here either you can set from the pretty standalone application you can set from the here run as java application it will load the qa properties file it will load the qa properties file or if none of the 
also is there let's see component scan should work will not get any error but value will not coming from the properties file if the value will not come the properties file you will get an error no property found okay something you will get an okay error team see run as java application see writing with you are getting these values will be replaced these values will be replaced okay, instead of you are getting error team now if you see here what your spring configuration will do if you are not getting anything these values will be okay, replacing with as a name this value will be okay, replacing with as a color team understood that's why you have to pass the okay, environment or profiles either following like this or run as configuration environment new spring dot profiles dot active dev team that's it okay team now if you run the application now oh already run now you got it this is what team how to load the properties file based on the environment till now we have used the properties file environment now you can go for a properties file using xml using xml using xml see i have different xml it is like equivalent to dev properties file i have qa xml same code org spring framework dot bean dot factory dot config dot this one i am loading qa properties file similarly i am loading production but how to import one xml to another xml i told okay yesterday there is element inside of a xml is called import i am importing dev configuration i am importing qa i am importing prod i am importing all team here i am importing okay, everything here here bean id this is same but how to import one xml into another xml how to import one java config into another java config okay yesterday we have seen at the rate import similarly if it is a okay, xml how you are importing one xml to another xml using import to tag so that all would be available here now you will pass the environment how to pass the environment same code but instead of annotation here okay xml class path that's it if it is dev dev if it is qa qa if it is prod prod understood team are you clear or not or any questions team now till now we have seen how to load this properties file using standalone now we will go for if i deployed application into my tomcat spring of profiles with the spring of profiles with if i want to deploy application into my tomcat how to deploy your application into tomcat have you seen anywhere your standalone method here have you seen anywhere your standalone method team here standalone means your main method class is there here please try to understand here main method class is there here no i am using spring config i am using spring config team here i am using web.xml if you are using java config in web.xml 
please try to understand if you are using java config in web.xml see in your real time most of the applications spring is core module only this core module will be there is no project is called only core module team core module will be used for to develop a publication to develop a rest apis to develop any distributed applications there is no real time project is only spring core what is the job of the spring core spring core will provide the objects objects okay. instead of developer will create the objects spring core will provide everything to you for as per your needs here we are providing context loader listener this has the responsible bootstrap your root application context using context listener how to do control shift to t see this will also internally will use web application initializer this class has the responsibility to load your app.xml user use or not to load it is replacement of your app.xml it is a replacement of your app.xml it will map your slash root to your tomcat everything c team during your application startup only it will you know application startup only this will be responsible to create the servlet context object that means it will this class has the responsible to load this okay dot xml and uh, you know after loading this app dot xml it will identify it will create the your spring container object using this once that container is creating it is trying to load all these classes based on the profile how to configure the profile teams if it is tomcat right go to your it is tomcat right in your project wherever tomcat is there how to load the environment properties file from the tomcat go to here go to here softwares apache tomcat if it is jboss jboss also config catalina and dot properties file it is spring application right you should give spring application dot dev or prod you should give it spring dot profiles dot active is equal to prod now if i build my application run as and we installed now refresh during your application st startup what logs will come to you? here it will verify your spring config is loaded writer dot write to method will be executed here now please concentrate here what is there here prod in your code you have prod properties file yes this one would be loaded during startup only we'll get all the logs and all where can we see the logs here during startup only because you are calling during your startup you will get it everything during startup in logs it will be printed like this writing with the qa properties let's see team. writing with qa properties too.
startup.sh startup.bin Let me check first. Did you deploy your application into your web apps? Copy. No, see loaded fraud spring configuration. Loaded prod spring configuration. Writing work with the black prod ink of Parker prod. Writing with the black prod ink of Parker Prod brand. Understood team. If you give here now QE means here you are giving means I told clearly if it is Tomcat you should give like this here. If it is Tomcat here you should give spring dot profiles dot active. If it is Docker, you should give. Here also, whenever you will give this one, right? Now what happened? How to get other right profiles? Will will try to read the value from the JVM during your application startup. All the properties will be set to JVM. If any property you want, other right profile will get this Spring dot profile value from the JVM. Whatever value is the from JVM. Your other end of profile will take it and it will start. It will find is there any profile classes or profile method is available. If it is available, corresponding properties file would be loaded. Okay, team. Now, if it is clear, right? Now let's see. See team. Loading. QA spring configuration. Loading. QA spring configuration team. Are we clear team? Are we clear or not? Okay, everyone. Team, any questions, team? Team, any questions, team? All okay, everyone. Good. Now, see, team. What annotations we have practiced till now? We have implemented one is. One is uh, what is first one? First one mm, at the rate configuration. Second one at the rate being good. Why after configuration being only will come? Third one easily okay. Can remember team? Yeah. So instead of being, you should give as a component. 
fourth one are the rate component scan good why how to scan these component classes using other rate components scan fifth one are the rate auto wire auto wire why how to get the beans of this component so, okay, sixth one how to inject your your xml into java config seventh one at the rate import to one java config would be imported to another java config after that how to resolve the ambiguity after that to resolve the ambiguity using qualifier and all next one we need to practice okay examples on scope understood yeah scope means during startup only beans are loaded if you don't want startup you should go for lazy okay, next one next one team team what is next one can anyone before profile what we have discussed before value what we have discussed yeah see that's what you should not buy here at the rate property source is used to to load the properties file once properties file will be loaded then only we should get this value once a value will be loaded how to lo load the properties file based on the environment now you should go for other rate profile you should not buy here team the based on the use case we should remember all 14 okay next one team there is a an annotation is called other rate required to make generally when you should go for constructor and shutter injection if the dependency is mandatory you should go for constructor if the dependency is optional you should go for shutter injection to make shutter injection also mandatory to make shutter injection also mandatory we should go for other rate required on top of some shutter injection on top of some shutter methods you should declare so that that so that for setter dependency also for setter also dependency was mandatory also dependency was mandatory mandatory team understood team we have discussed around how many team 15 annotations we have discussed any questions team here any questions team here another two annotations are there these two are java annotations at the rate named at the rate inject at the rate named is nothing but it's a bean at the rate named is nothing but either it's a bean or at the rate bean or At the rate inject is nothing but auto wire. These two are Java annotations. These two are Java guys. All are Spring. But these two are only Java guys as implemented. This. Understood? Either you should go for B or you should go for name. Or you should go for other rate component or other rate inject means 
are the red atom wire team. Now we will see this example team. Any questions team till 15? Annotations, any questions team? We have discussed till now 15. Any questions team? Any questions team? Hope okay, everyone. We are clear. All. Okay. Now, what are the examples? Okay, we have okay, discussed team till now. Just for okay, examples. One is one is constructor injection using XML. Now two is setter injection using okay, XML config. Next one team. Constructor injection using Java config. Setter injection using Java config. Okay, fifth one team. What is fifth one team? Fifth one is hmm, import import XML config with Java config. Sixth one, import Java config with Java config. Seventh one, we have seen integrate XML config comma Java config with Java config all scenarios we have seen team after how to resolve the ambiguity using other from using other primary comma other qualifier using other primary comma other qualifier how to resolve the ambiguity Using other rate primary comma other rate qualifier team. Okay, next one team. Okay, what is next one? Scopes team. We have discussed about scopes. Scopes we have discussed both example singleton prototype. Scopes in the bracket using Java config using auto wire using XML team. Okay, next one team. Immediately we have started how to load the properties files. No, no, lazy annotations. At the rate, lazy annotation examples. Next one. Primitives, primitives, comma, collections, examples. Next one. How to load properties files using XML? How to load? properties file using java config how to load properties file auto wire next one is profiles 
using class level profiles using method level profiles using server level using xml and tunting using xml and java class understood team this is what we have discussed till now any question once again hope nothing is okay surprising team here hope all are good team now okay next one team what is the next topic okay, any questions team till now Any questions, team? No clear, no good. Next example, team. See, I will show you this annotation stuff. Annotations, see, same team, same as previous component scan and all. Wherever component is there, at the right name. Wherever component is there, at the right name wherever component is there at the right name so if you observe these are the our j2 ee annotations these are the our j2 ee annotations these are not our spring annotations these are the j2 ee annotations not the Spring annotations. Okay, team. Wherever auto wire is there, you can use this inject. You can inject the beans using constructor. You can inject the beans using XML. Sorry, setter. You can inject the bean using field level. Remember, these annotations are available in J2EE, not a spring framework. J2EE, not a spring framework. Understood, team? Now, here spring core is okay. Here, okay. No runner. If you see here, just I am declaring whether this beans are coming or not i think you should go ahead with back end dummy data only See? only how to use other rate inject and other rate how to use other rate inject and other rate named And these two are given by who? Spring team. Now if I run the application, same stuff. And as Java configuration. See team? Better with the blagging of per perpendicular. 